Check, check. One, two, people of the internet. Hello and welcome to another Tri Wizard Tuesday for a classic, ladies and gentlemen. An all time classic. We are getting ready for the first time ever. I'm going to get to experience Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I say sorcerers because that's, that's what it says on my case. If you're uh, watching this in the replay squad, check the timestamps below. You can jump ahead in the video. We like to do a little just chatting segment here in the beginning where we catch up with you guys. See what's going on with you. But uh, we will get to the gameplay here shortly. Guys, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for being here today. Actually, let me see. I didn't hit. I need to hit my send out my tweet. Boom. Tweet is out. We're saying goodbye to this one. Moving on from Deathly Hallows Part 2. Probably will never play this again. Unless, unless. You know what? You know what I just thought of? Unless I decide that I want to go for the Platinum Trophy. Which, for those of you who've been around a while, man, you know. You know that I like my Platinum Trophies. There may be a point where I decide that we need to go for the Platinum Trophy. It's very possible. 9.30 on the dot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Dylan. Welcome in. King Tut with that tier one membership. Welcome in, King Tut. Thank you so much for becoming a member here. Enjoy access to your emotes, which, guys, big updates for the channel members. Big, big updates. So I am I'm very close to having the loyalty badges finished. So we had those concepts. You remember that you guys got to vote on. And the one that won was the House Banners concept. So that one won, and it is currently, it could be today, actually, when, they, when they're when they done. But there might be some revision. So I'm working with a designer that I've used in the past for those things. So uh, next, I feel for sure, though, next stream, next Tuesday, we should definitely have the updated loyalty badges for you guys, which will be themed to house rack and tour banners for those of you who have no idea what i'm talking about uh, all the channel members in our chat you can see beside their names actually a lot of people here hanging out right now are channel members so they have like our old logo right now so we got like the green r there's an orange one purple one lots of different r's in there in the chat right now but, uh, but yeah, they're going to be themed to uh, the house banners instead for House Rack and Tour. There we go. So what else? What else? What else? Um, I did update the channel membership perks as well. So you guys have known for a while now I've been doing these members only videos and I didn't even have that listed as a perk. So I have went and added that. That is now a perk. Um, I took off the... Uh, What's the one I took off? The discounted merch because we honestly we haven't updated our merch in a while. Maybe we will again in the future. But I just tried to clean that up, streamline it a bit, and I've added two near two new tiers. So we added a nine ninety nine tier and we added a twenty four ninety nine tier, which someone has already like I didn't even tell people about it, and somebody already subscribed at the maximum tier, which I'm calling the Phoenix tier. And so I thought a lot about like what do I what sort of perks do I want to offer? And ultimately I decided I didn't want to split the audience. I didn't want to make like a bunch of stuff exclusive to one group and not the other. So it's just a way for if, if people want to give an extra thank you, if they want to go above and beyond, for the $4.99, you'll get the the emotes. Actually, let me just pull it up here so I can remember exactly what I what I said it as. Because I, I updated a lot of this. Yeah, so you get the loyalty badges, you get the emoji, you get the prefect role in Discord, and then you get the exclusive members-only videos. That That's how we've been doing it. That's tier one. That's the hippogriff tier. Then a step above that, we have the unicorn tier. And then we have the phoenix tier above that, which is the one somebody already subscribed to. And so if you subscribe at that tier, I'm going to verbally shout you out at the end of videos. So it's just like a way for people who want to, again, go above and beyond. And I may add some more to that over time. But I, I ultimately decided I don't want to split. I don't want people to feel like, oh, I need to subscribe at this tier or I miss out on this. So 
that's been updated if you're wondering what that is tier two right now all i have is priority reply in the comments but i think i'm i think i'm gonna update that and and tweak that to something as well um i'm considering like early access on some videos but right now like all our videos so many of them are tied to news that i wouldn't want to do i wouldn't want to release them you know where they don't go out to everybody at the same time but thank you guys all for being here. Looks like we also had H. Julia with the 13 months. Is that Julia? That's Julia. Thank you so much, Julia. Appreciate all your support. Dude, this Hogwarts Legacy music is getting me pumped up. So we had Lear Arc in the chat. We had Arvin, Savage Khaleesi, Dylan. What is up, Dylan? Welcome back. B-Mill in the house. I know it's late for you, B-Mill. I know it's late. King Tut, AJ Draws, Retro is the Trophy Assassin. I love me some trophies, man. I love me some trophies. All right, let's turn down the Hogwarts music a little bit. This one gets really loud. That one gets really, really loud. Carthion. I hope I pronounced that somewhat close to being correct. Would you ever play the original handheld games? Absolutely. Absolutely, I would play the original handheld games. And, uh... I, I've I've never played any of them. Would you believe that? So I think it would actually be pretty fun to do. The hard part is figuring out how exactly to set it up. I actually own hard copies of all of them. But it might be easier just to do emulation. <laughs> just to be able to stream it. Because I know they make little... They make various devices for... Like Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance where you can... It's actually kind of cool. I've just, I've just been interested in these. They're these little... They're about this big. And it's just like... I don't even think it's HDMI. I think it's USB. It just plugs into your computer and then you put the little cartridge down into the slot. But yeah, see... So here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna play this one. I, I actually have no idea how long this game is. You know what? That's something I could let's let's look that up right now. Like, am I gonna be able to finish this in one stream, or is it like two or three streams? Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone PS1 time to beat. Let's see what we got here. How long to beat? Now, see, that's the remake version. That's not this one. I feel like this is going to be a pretty quick game. But I don't know. Maybe somebody in the chat who remembers this one can let me know. Because the PC version isn't isn't that long. But yeah, this one is the PS1 version. But it's not the remake. Then they remade. They made a slightly different version for PS2, GameCube, Xbox. So here's the plan. We're going to play through this. Maybe this stream. Maybe two streams. We're going to play through Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1, which they also made, surprisingly. And then from there, I don't know, maybe that'll be like a members poll. Maybe we'll let the members decide where we go from there. Because maybe, for some of you who are new here, I've had a lot of people asking for Quidditch World Cup, a lot of people asking for Lego Harry Potter. We have played both of those. We have Lego Harry Potter videos on the channel that is just kind of like our trophy runs. It's not a full playthrough, but you can go back and watch the highlights, basically, of those playthroughs. We have those live here on the channel. And then we have, uh, we have a playthrough of Quidditch World Cup, which we won the House Cup, but we didn't go all the way to the World Cup, so maybe we revisit that one at some point. And then what else have we played on the channel at this point, man? We played... Philosopher's Stone PC, Chamber of Secrets GameCube, Prisoner of Azkaban GameCube, Goblet of Fire GameCube, Order of the Phoenix on PS3, Half-Blood Prince PS3, Deathly Hallows 1 and 2 PS3. So that's where we're at. We've, we've not done any of the handheld games. And we've also not done the... Sorcerer Stone remake. What else haven't we done? We've not done any. <laughs> we gotta have at least a couple streams for the Connect game and Wonder Book Book of Potions. I'd have to like set up my camera in a different way though, because you guys need to you guys need to get like the full experience when we do those. 
I don't even know if that's possible to stream a book of uh, Wonder Book game because so much of it, I guess you would like. Let's see, because that's the that's the augmented reality one, I think. I don't know how that would translate, but we'll try it. <laughs> we will try it. So there's still plenty of Potter games for us to dive into, especially if we go to the, the route of playing the, the uh, handheld games. Mrs. Raconteur, welcome in. Good morning from work. Emily, so pumped for this. Played it on PC as a kid. Excited to see how it compares. That's where I'm at. Because the one I played, the first Harry Potter game I ever played was the Philosopher's Stone for PC, which still holds near and dear to my heart. I still have a very special place for that game in my heart. But here's the thing, guys. PS1 games, they don't really hold up in the graphics department. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys have went back and looked lately. Like that first jump into 3D, whew, man. It was rough. You go back and play a 2D, like a uh, like a 2D pixel game, like something on Super Nintendo. Man, they still look great. Even even the original Nintendo, like there's still a, a certain charm to those games. But you go back and play these PS, woo, man. But I'm here's the thing. I'm pretty confident that the gameplay in this is going to be an upgrade over this. I'm I'm pretty confident with that. We'll see. Hopefully, I'm right with that. It I, I just pulled. It actually reviewed an eight on IGN, so that's a solid score. November eleventh, two thousand one, Argonaut Games. All right, I'm way behind on chat. Thomas, welcome in. Am I getting GTA Six? Oh, Thomas, I have a strange relationship with Grand Theft Auto in that I respect it. I've played several of them. I get why people like it. I'm sure it's going to be game of the year, 10 out of 10, millions and millions and millions of copies. I don't feel like a rush to play it. <laughs> to be to Just to be totally honest. I don't feel like the rush to be like day one, I'm getting it 100%. Yes, I will probably play it at some point, but I'm just not in a rush to play it. So there you go. Certainly not one that we would stream, given, uh, especially on this channel, we, we keep it family friendly here, but, but yeah, if you're excited for it, Thomas, I hope you love it, dude. I hope you love it. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Look at, dude. See, that's, some of you just love to, s Savage Khaleesi upgrading to the unicorn tier membership. Savage Khaleesi, thank you so much. Appreciate that. I'm I'm working on. I want to do at least something to go above and beyond to say thanks to those people. But I think you guys can also see like I don't want to, because I was trying to lay out all these different things that I could add at different tiers, and then I'm like, well, that really like splits. I don't want people to feel left out. But those of you who do support at those tiers, I want you to feel recognized for it. You know, I want you to feel appreciated. So I will definitely work on some way, some other ways to do that. Thank you so much, Khaleesi. And then Dylan upgrading to the Phoenix tier membership. Dylan, my man, thank you so much. That means our, our boy Dylan McLeod going to get a verbal shout out at the end of our next video. And as long as he stays a member. Oh, man, I got to think about. You remember on PBS how they say like, what is it they say? There's always that line on PBS. It's like, um, this show was brought to you in part by readers like you. <laughs> or no, wait, is it viewers like It's viewers like you. So at the end of every uh, video now, I'm going to be like, this video brought to you in part by viewers like Dylan McLeod, <laughs> who supports at our Phoenix tier membership. Dylan and then the other person who upgraded to Phoenix tier was uh Noah someone named Noah that was the first I believe they were a first time member Noah I don't know if you're here but thank you my friend appreciate it Danielle good morning welcome in Wookie Cookie how's it going dude Anna Pim everyone ready for PS1 Hagrid I'm ready for PS1 Hagrid I had to find a gif of him when I tweeted out that we were going live yeah I call them gifs not gifs for me, Jif is peanut butter, man. <laughs> Jif is Jif will always be peanut butter. I can't do it. It's a gift to me. 
Hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. Hopefully no one's going to leave over that. Jenny, welcome in. Good morning. Good to see you. Who else do we have in here? Mr. J from Portugal. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for stopping by. AJ draws the soundtrack. Dude, the soundtrack to those first games. Yes. Yes. Linus, thank you. Wow, I'm way behind on chat. If I'm seriously just now getting to the point where you people answered that question. <laughs> this is what happens, guys. For the newcomers, this is how we do it, man. We have a little just chatting segment here in the beginning. If you're watching this in the replay squad and you're already just, just over this, you can't take it anymore, I'll have a little uh, timestamp down below. You can jump ahead. It's okay. It's okay. For anyone watching live, I'm sorry. You just have to bear with us. You just have to. You just have to be part of the community here. Enjoy it. Just sit back, relax, enjoy. It. You, you never know. There might be something here. There might be something here that uh, you enjoy from this discussion. <laughs> you never know. So Linus says eight and a half hours for a hundred percent. Okay, I'm not gonna go for a hundred percent. But yeah, I usually try to stream about three. Three, three and a half hours. So we, we should get a good chunk into the game today. And then we should be able to finish it next week. That's kind of what I was expecting. James said Goblet of Fire on DSXL was cool for its time. Interesting. So was it better than the... Uh, was it better than the main console games? Because the main console game, Goblet of Fire, is, is pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Carl Davidson. Welcome in, dude. Thank you for being here. Christian Gamer says six to eight hours. Okay, so that's a good that's a good two-streamer. That's a good two stream. We should be able to knock that out in two streams. Basically what we've had with Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Oh, good question, Becky. Did any of the actors voice their characters in this game? We should find out pretty soon. You know what? I'm going to move my chat over here when I'm not playing the game. So then it looks like I'm... Now chat is right under my camera. So it looks like I'm talking more directly to you guys. B Mill, thank you so much for checking the replay. Have a good night. Only Order of the Phoenix had the OG cast. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, like it was different throughout. Um, like in Deathly Hallows Part 2, we saw a couple of names pop up in the credits. Moira Squire among them. Dude, Mo Moira, I, she must have been around with the Potter series for a while. I would love to just like sit down and pick her brain and just I, I would love to interview someone on the original these original Potter games a just to figure out why there were so many different versions like maybe back then the hardware architecture was just maybe the PS1 was so different from the PC that they're like that just has to be a separate team almost the way like handheld games were treated and kind of like that Game Boy era. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, I feel like Moira would have so much good information to talk about from the series. Kane Jake, yes. Those are definite possibilities too. Kane Jake asked about uh, Chamber and Prisoner PC versions. Streaming those. Yeah, definitely a possibility... We tried streaming Chamber one time and it gave us some problems because those games are so old, you have to kind of like trick Windows into running them. <laughs> but then it, it messed with my streaming software because the resolution, it, it like takes the resolution down to fit the game. It's very bizarre. So I would have to do a bit more research on figuring out how to get those to where I could play them and then stream them so you guys could see it correctly. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, who else? Somi, good morning, Somi. Kosher Ninja, how's it going? Gigi as a lobster, welcome back. Mew Store in the house. What's up, Mew Store? Damia says, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Yes, yes, all the likes are very much appreciated. Dr. Wizard. Oh, man, you're making me hungry. We got a bunch of pizzas in the chat. A bunch of pizzas right there. I like how you threw in the carrot, too. You threw in the carrot just to, like, get that. That's what I always try to do with every meal, right? You know, even if I'm eating something that I'm like, yeah, this probably isn't the best for me. I try to throw in at least one healthy item. 
at least one healthy item with with it. Oh my gosh, Somi, I'm so far behind. But your comment about PBS, I hit I hit it on the head. I hit the nail on the head. Priestess, you're so cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know if my kids would agree. I feel like I'm starting to for those of you who have kids, you know, there's like that the, that golden period where you, you, your kids think you're just the greatest, right? They think you know everything. They think you just, you got it all figured out. And then they hit an age, like my, my nine-year-old, he's getting ready to turn 10. He's not there yet, but like I can see signs where things that he previously thought would be funny my dad jokes he just like he, he's just starting to be like annoyed by it and it's sad <laughs> it's very sad oh dude but no he's not he's not fully there yet but he's definitely getting there he's definitely getting there straight butchered your last name wait how do you pronounce your last name dylan dylan Wait, it's McLeod, isn't it? I feel like you've told me this before. What did I say? McLeod? McLeod! Dylan McLeod in the house. I, th I feel like... I don't know why I'm thinking McLeod. I feel like you told me that before, maybe. Lean the Aspect. This is the first Harry Potter game I ever played. Second one was Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Quite the... Right? Imagine if you went from this straight to Hogwarts Legacy. That... That would be a big jump. That would be quite the jump. Nathan, welcome in. Good to see you. Lord D, PS1 Haggard for president. And hold on. I think I missed a... Uh, somebody re up their membership. Oh, it was Anna. Anna with the 11 months. Almost one year. Anna, you're going to get a, a shiny brand new badge next month. Actually, everybody's going to get a new badge no matter which tier you're at. Man, I can't. I haven't seen them yet. I just like, so I came up with the concept, which you guys had a chance to vote on, and House Banner. I was surprised. I thought the Magical Creatures was going to win, because whenever we had like a four options, Magical Creatures won pretty convincingly. But then I thought, you know what, it would only be fair to put the top two, that way who pe people who didn't get their number one choice would be able to pick for their like second best. So we did just the top two. And then the House Banners one, which, as much as I love the magical creature idea, House Banners probably makes more sense. And it's more timeless. So, House Rack and Tour, you guys will have new loyalty badges very, very soon. AJ draws with the AJ draws with the 11 months too. Studios are serious about the source material when they hire people experienced with the history of a franchise, for sure. I, I don't think Moyer has ever left. I, I think Moyer has been there for quite some time. <clears throat> Cause I know she, I, she even worked on games before, before Deathly Hallows. Wookie Cookie, you got it there. Isn't it pronounced McLeod? Okay, so I was right, I was right. PS1 Philosopher Stone in Hogwarts. Oh wait, I already read that one from Becky. Yes, it is quite the jump. Joshua, when I was a kid, there was a part where Snap, oh, you mean Snape blocks the way and you can keep walking into him and he says the same line every time. There's lots of little quirks with these old games, I feel like. Dr. Wizard, for me, it is about 9.54 a.m. Almost 10 a.m. Almost 10 a.m. You're a 90s man? Oh, AJ. For real, dude. I have so many good memories from the 90s. 90s woman right there, too. Let's go. We got a 90s man and we got a 90s woman. I'd say we have a lot of 90s kids in here. Judging by our analytics, which, you know, they don't tell the full picture, but YouTube gives me the analytics where I can see the audience like where you guys are watching from um, gender age those sorts of things and of course it's just a range and they don't know for sure because you have things like kids watching on their parents accounts sometimes 
but our biggest audience is by far that like 25 to 34 range. So if you're if you're above that, if you're below that, don't feel bad. You're still welcome. But yeah, so those of us who would have been been born either in late 80s, early 90s, man, what a time. What a time. There was a buddy of mine I used to work with. I, I was trying to get him to start a podcast with me to talk about we're really like the last generation that will remember life before the internet. The younger ones in the audience are like, what? You're that old? <laughs> no, life before the internet, man. And games before the internet. Like before we had streaming like this, before we had Twitch, before we had where you could even go online and look up guides. Where you actually had to just figure it out. <laughs> or call in to the like Nindo, Nintendo um, support line. Anybody ever do that? I never did. But apparently that was an actual thing. That you, I, I don't know if you, for, for the old school Nintendo gamers. They always had a support number. And I guess they just had people who were like. Strategy guide people just sitting there. Wait, <laughs> waiting to help kids. <sighs> Which is awesome. Like, what a job, man. What a job. It didn't last very long, thanks to the internet, but... Derek missed last week. Glad to be here this week. Hey, good to have you back, Derek. It was Linus. Yeah, it was different developers for PC and PS1. Yep. You love the uh, Harry Potter original PC games? Yeah, so we, we've played Philosopher's Stone. There's We have our Let's Play up. It's still up on the channel. You can go back. Did I already uh, shout out AJ Draws for the 11 months? I think I did. AJ, thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate it. Dumbledore glasses look better in PS1 than the PC version. Oh, man. we The Dumbledore glasses, that's right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mustor, uh, got your message for those retro achievements. Retro achievements? No, what do you mean? PC, HP, it was your childhood. Yeah, that was the first one I played. I know, AJ. It's just the natural way of things. It's just how they go. Tachi Bana? Am I close? Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. Magica! Welcome back, Magica. PS2 Chamber of, Ch Chamber of Secrets. I was about to say, Chamber of Cheekrets. Chamber of Cheekrets, Harry Potter, and the Chamber of Cheekrets. So I've played the GameCube version. That's one of my favorites, and it's it's pretty similar to the PS2 one. Yeah. I expect whenever we jump to the GameCube PS1, it's going to be probably quite a step down. But I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it. Uh, Dr. Wizard. I'm a Gryffindor. Rocking my uh, maroon here. Moyer's been there for over two decades, according to her WB profile. Okay. So, that would be very close to the beginning then, man. That's very close. She may not have been there for, for Sorcerer's Stone, because it would have been 2001. But it would have been very shortly after. She's probably there for sure from like Prisoner of Azkaban on then. I wonder if there's anybody else. Or if she's like considered like the wealth of knowledge. The OG. She's the one you go to when you want to know anything about the history of the franchise. More hilarious than Snape coughing fit when he catches you sneaking around in Prisoner. Oh my goodness. breakout in <laughs> air guitar I don't know about that Dylan I don't know about that yes indeed Wookie oh yeah I was like how did you see I'm a Titans fan yeah my little uh yep I'm from Tennessee originally that's where I was born and so I was living there when they first moved to Tennessee and went to the Super Bowl their very first year in Nashville Kind of spoiled us then. Haven't made it back since. 
Haven't made it back since. But it was uh it was wonderful. So yeah, I'm still a fan, still supporting, still hoping they'll turn it around. Moira has also worked on a ton of TV series as well as an actress. What? That's crazy. Corded phones, right? You actually had to hop. So when we first got internet, any of you younger ones out there, my kids now, like if the if the internet goes out, they just like, they just shut down. They just can't comprehend. You guys remember when we first got internet, it was like through the phone lines. So you, you couldn't be on the phone line if somebody was trying to make a call. So if your mom or dad was waiting or expecting a call, no, you can't get on in, internet. No, of course not. The old school dial-up sound. Ultra Blue and Christy, welcome in. Berna, welcome in as well. Waiting for the ice cream truck all after. <laughs> oh, you would hear that, hear the sound of that ice cream. You would hear it. You told your daughter that you're older than Google. <laughs> she looked at you shocked. Oh, man. Oh, you guys. Getting old. Getting old. I'm just like... There's a point where you try to deny it, and then you just have to lean in. You just have to lean in and embrace it. Just enjoy the changes of life as you go through them. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Because you you know one of the craziest things, especially for all you parents out there. Who was it that said this? I, a lot of people probably said this. But, like, when you become a parent, so much of your identity is, like, on being a parent. That's, like, what you're tied to is being a parent for so long. But then hopefully if you live like whatever a normal life is these days, right? 70, 80 in the U.S., somewhere around there. The time that you're like actually raising children doesn't end up being like that big of a portion of your life. So like my wife tells me to hush whenever I say it, but like our oldest, he's nine. And so I'm like, he's already halfway to being considered an adult here in the U.S. That's when we consider people adults. That's when you go to college. Like, that's mind-blowing to me. That's mind-blowing. But yeah, all the phases of life. Internet. There's so many stories we could tell. To play, yeah, when you wanted to play games with a friend, you had to, like, invite them over. You had to sit down beside them on the couch. And actually, the TVs that we had back in those days were not 50 inches, at least not in my household. Man, I bet our main family TV when I was growing up, I bet it was like, of course it was CRT, so it's 4 by 3 I bet it was probably not even a 32, maybe like a 27-inch TV or something. And then you're trying to play games, like if you're, remember the four-player split-screen? Golden eye. <laughs> oh man. All right. I'm going to catch up with Chad here and then we'll get into some gameplay because we are. It, this little intro segment, for me, it always goes fast. If anybody's waiting for gameplay, you're probably annoyed, but it always goes fast for me. Make sure I haven't missed anyone else here in the chat. Uh, we got What the Christie there. McTosh, welcome in. On PS1 was insanely good. All right, dude. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it now. Ultra Blue JR, welcome in. Joshua, let's see, did I get Joshua? Anthony's Galactic Games in the house. Scottish Craig is here as well. Jumping Toadstool dropping in on us too. Cheyenne, welcome. Hey, you're not late. You're not late. A wizard's never late. And also, whenever you join in and tune into a retro stream, you know we're going to have a little just chatting at the beginning. So if you're here for the gameplay... You haven't missed anything. Haven't missed anything. And Inspector, welcome in. You're not ready for PS1 Hagrid? Oh, dude. All right, well, we're about to dive in, guys. But before we do, I want to tell you guys about... If any of you have never used Audible.com, I'm an affiliate partner with Audible. So my son and I, my nine-year-old that I was telling you about, we've been... 
Um, he's through the first two Harry Potter books now. Very exciting. This was like a, a pivotal parenting moment for me, was getting to that point where he was able to appreciate the series, finally. I was very careful. We've not let him watch the movies. This was, this was like a non-negotiable with my wife and I. Is uh, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want him to watch the movies before reading the book. I wanted him to have that that pure experience of, of imagining it first. So we got the uh, the illustrated editions of the first two books, and we've been listening to them through Audible. And we'll like so we'll like follow along. In the U.S., it's Jim Dale. So I think in the U.K. versions, it's Stephen Fry. And you can get if you have if you have never used this right here, audibletrial.com slash retro. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you're gonna get two free books, two free audiobooks. And that's like no catch. I've gotten all actually, I think I, I'm trying to remember how many months that I paid for it. If you listen to a lot of audiobooks, it's definitely worth it. But even if you don't, and you're like, I just want a few of my classics. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you get two free books. If you're not an Amazon Prime member, you get one free book using that trial offer right there. So I'm an affiliate partner with them. It's not like they're not like fully sponsoring the video or anything. But um, honestly, I want to talk about and share stuff with you guys that I'm personally using. <laughs> and my son and I have, have been using that. And I've been I've been partnered with them for a while. And I was like, I just need to just need to tell more people about that. Because there's legitimately, I'm always the one looking for the fine print. I'm like, okay, where's the catch? Right? You only get it for the 30 days, and then once you cancel, you don't. No. No. I, I honestly don't know how Audible does it. <laughs> you, you sign up using that link right there. In fact, even if you've done a free trial before, you may still be able to do it again. But um, they even send you like a little notice before the 30 days is up, like saying, hey, do you want to cancel? So you get to keep the books it's crazy so i have the i'm up to the first five books now that i own on audible and then just the other day they're all the time sending me emails like hey do you want another free trial and so they sent me another one like i can get another i think three months free and i'm an amazon prime member so i'm like well there we go i can finish out my harry potter audible collection so harry potter books are on there iv welcome in <clears throat> main TV oh yeah for a while it was just one Magica and then I eventually I was able to convince my parents to get a TV in my room like the, the first TV I ever had in my room it was my grandparents TV and it was one of those TVs that sat on the floor any of you have those it just sat on the floor <laughs> Lordy you were subscribed for 7 months because you got one free Exact, dude, exactly. Yes. That is exactly it, Lordy. Yes. So you can basically, if you time your free trials right, you can, you can end up getting all the books for free. So if you guys use that link, it supports the channel. I'd appreciate it. It'd be awesome if you guys want to check out any, but they have way more than just Harry Potter. So check it out. Take a look at it. But I'm ready to dive in some gameplay, man. I don't know about you guys. We've been here for, oh wait, I always need to write down. Let me write down my timestamp. Let me write down the timestamp. Oh no, you guys don't want to see that. Whoa, okay, that, that is trippy. That's what I see. This is what I see, you guys. <laughs> Except minus the, the warping effect. I don't see that part of it. All right, so I would rather you guys see this. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, Hogwarts Legacy, thank you for your glorious music to get us started here today. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. You think Stephen Fry is the best one, Derek? I'm see Jim Dale's what I grew up with, so I like both of them. 
But Jim Dale does pronounce some of it, um, especially going back now. Like he, at least in the first two books, he still says Voldemort instead of Voldemort, which J.K. Rowling has actually said it was intended to be Voldemort and that she actually still pronounces it Voldemort to herself. But yeah, I don't know at what point it, be it became Voldemort and the movies just ran with it. Um, another one that I was shocked with Jim Dale he pronounces Hermione. It's not. It, it's not Ione. He pronounces it Hermione. Hermione. Which is, I don't know. Maybe the British folks in the audience can. I'm not sure how Stephen Fry pronounces it, but the movies, even with an all British cast, it's a very clear Hermione. Hermione Granger. And you are. All right, guys. Oh my goodness, controller not found. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm getting some just waves of nostalgia just from this menu right here. People of the internet, welcome in to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PlayStation 1. I have never played this game before. We are playing it actually on a PlayStation 3 Slim. Believe it or not, that is backwards compatible with PS1 games. All right, so let me check here, see what sort of options we have. Oh man, it's not even widescreen. It's not even widescreen. Vibration, uh, I usually like to have those. Oh my goodness, that's like a heavy vibration. Let's have it on. Nah, it'll just drain battery. Look mode, normal or reverse room control. I'm gonna keep everything normal for the start. Okay, everything looks good there. Center screen, I think we're good with that. Yeah, so old school games, not many options. You know what, let me move my webcam though, cause it's, it's kind of bothering me. Let's see, I could do, maybe we could do something like this. Like, what if I just move this? Nah, that looks, that looks strange. But I do feel like with my webcam being off to the side now, it looks. There we go. We might adjust it again once we get into the gameplay here. Dude, I know, isn't it crazy that the Slim can play PS1 games, yet it can't play PS2 games? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time, Harry Potter. Oh, checking memory card. <laughs> Thankfully, the PS3, it can just save it to the hard drive. Yes, I would like to create a save file on the memory card. A save block? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry for like freaking out over everything, but it's such a uh <laughs> look you even, they even have the little books for your save files. How's the audio by the way, guys? Do we need to turn any of the uh the game up or down? Cuz it's pretty it's plenty loud for me. I just want to make sure it's not too loud for you guys. Saving data. Okay. Hey, Christy, appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, the, the blockiness. But the music. So good. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. Rubius Hagrid. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, 
when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Here Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would so not be chosen good, for guys. Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Or is it too loud? Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! If you're sure... Loading. Oh, here he comes! <laughs> you can't even see his face yet! Oh, wait. We do see a bit of the glasses there. Wow. The blockiness. No voice acting? Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore. Your headmaster. No, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door. But oh. keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. <laughs> Wait, why did he not have the first line? And then he, just, then he, maybe my was my is my disc scratched up in that Nitwit, area? Blubber, oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my goodness, man! Oh, dude, can I not use? <gasps> No, it's not letting me use the left analog stick. I actually have to use the D-pad. No way. Great transition. <laughs> Couldn't tell the difference. Why did he not have the first line? Maybe my game disc is scratched up or something. Okay, so we got Albus here just kind of walking around. Ah, Huggy Watty Hogwarts. <laughs> oh, wonderful place to explore. How many lines of dialogue did they give him? This is great. Come on, Albus. What else you got to say? Ah, oh, dang it. Hogwarts. I thought he was going to have more. That's right. Ah, oh, Hog man. All right, so they gave him like two lines. That's cool. Okay, so this is meant to be the, the little house counters, I guess. <laughs> Wow. Luis, an incredible journey I'm taking now. If the child I once was is coming to the surface, I, the, the nostalgia is real. Okay, so the beginning, it does feel very similar to the Philosopher's Stone on PC. So I'm curious to see how it's changed uh, after that. All right, so we got the Great Hall right here. Then we've got the Portrait Room. What is a Portrait Room? I can't believe I can't use the uh, the the left analog stick to move him. Well, now it's nice to see a new face into Gryffindor too. Good for you. I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Interesting. Off you go then, but be careful. There are some odd creatures about. Ooh, so this is like a secret. Yeah, that's right, Linus. That's why I thought there may be a chance that it would work, but... I don't suppose there's any, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. No. It's fine. I'll get used to it. All right, so over here we have Broom Cupboard is locked, and then the dungeons are locked. All right, let's head up the stairs here. Nice look at the stained glass. Looks like they did 
Oh man, is that an eagle or a raven? Did they get the correct Ravenclaw mascot? Okay, so what do we have over here? That's Gryffindor. This one's locked, so let's check out. The Great Foyer is locked. So that's probably where they have the staircase, the grand staircase in this game. Marco, welcome in. Wait, this is Gryffindor Tower right here? Oh, that's crazy. So you just walk up the steps and to your left, you're gonna get into the Gryffindor Tower. Okay, wait, so there's the fat lady. All right, so that's where we get in. So I'm just I'm just kind of exploring right now, guys. I know they probably want me to go. Actually, I don't even remember where he told me to go. So let's see, can we cast any spells yet? Nope, that's me pressing X. Look, look you even get a little uh, effect of the wand not working. All right, so square doesn't do anything. Triangle, circle, they don't do anything. All right, so right here we have the upper castle, the great foyer. Whoa, Harry with the auto jump, man. And he can actually jump pretty high in this game. Watch this. Boom, <laughs> Harry's got some hops in this game. <gasps> oh yeah, Derek, if there's a link or something, it's set to where only mods can share it. So if there's something you want to share, they, they might be able to help you out. All right, so entrance hall, that's where we just came from. Let's see, can I control the camera? Oh wait, so R2. Oh, that's really bizarre. So R2, you guys, moves the camera I this way. Whoa, we've got presents. House uh, in the house. Uh, House, what is up, man? Thank you for the super chat to my favorite content creator. Hope you are well and keep up the good work. House in the house. House, dude, appreciate it, man. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having a good week so far. We're just here, just, just basking in the nostalgia right now. That is the PS1 version of Harry Potter. We haven't ran into Hagrid yet, though. But thank you, man. Really appreciate the support with the super chat. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. Sounds In like Hogwarts, Ron's voice there are actor. special portraits. And behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavor beans, we'll tell oh, you the precious. password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Linus. See you around, Harry. Linus with another super chat. Linus, thank you, dude. Go to the bookshelf and press square. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one? Yo, Linus. Uh, Gab, by the way, welcome in. Thank you. Appreciate your support on the videos. Oh, my goodness. They've got the chocolate frog cards. This is one of my favorite things about this game, collecting these. Dude, is that Merlin? I think that's our boy Merlin. Yo, Linus, appreciate the tip. This was seriously one of my favorite things about these, collecting these. View Folio Magi, yes. Let's check it out. Oh no, you got a loading screen for that? <laughs> oh no. We got a loading screen to look at our it is Merlin. Merlin, medieval, dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as Prince of the Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. I love the little, the kid reading it. That's cool. I can't believe there's a loading screen to pull that up though. No way. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty quick, thankfully. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do that at every bookshelf, though. Okay, wait, so this is where we, this is the room we were in, right? Make sure there's nothing else in here. So then I guess we just do that to go back out. Now I wanna run back up here, try it. 
Like, wonder if I can move these. Out. This almost looks like something that should slide back. Nope. How about this one? Don't jump, Harry. No, don't jump. Don't jump. Is that Pimmy or Pimey? Welcome in. Also, Paulo, welcome in. Nah, this one's not doing anything. This one's not doing anything. Yeah, Derek, that might be what Dylan was uh, going to have you do. And if it's something he, he needs to share in the chat, he could share it in the live stream. But um, yeah, like in our community, probably just in the community section of the Discord. All right, so they need an earwax flavor bean, they said. Let's try to, I want to see if we can go into the common room. Caput Draconis. Let's go. I don't even know if this is what we were supposed to do yet, but let's go in here. And then I guess we probably go to charms next. Wow. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It will give you back some energy. Try to remember where you have Who seen some chocolate frogs. They may come in handy when you are low on stamina. That again sounds like Ron's voice actor. Read the Daily Prophet? Gringotts break in latest. Investigations continue into the break in at Gringotts. This is cool, Women man. Do the work of dark wizards. Gringotts goblins today insisted that nothing had been taken. The contents of the vault in question, which remain unidentified, had been withdrawn earlier that same day. I love this kid's voice, too. I don't know who the voice actor was for this, but... When you drink a Wigan Wild potion, it replenishes <laughs> all you have. Remarkable, isn't all it? All these little kids, man. When you drink a Wigan Wild potion, it replenishes all you have. They Remarkable, really sound like it? they got, like, 10 and 11-year-old kids to do, to do the voices. Okay, so I don't really need to uh, replenish, but let's go ahead and check, check that memory card. Make sure we save this. Yeah, because, oh, chat, we got to remember that. This is almost certainly not an autosave game. This is not an autosave game. I have to remember that and make sure I'm always frequently checking. Please keep the common room tidy. Please keep the common room tidy. Okay, we already read the Daily Prophet. Read book. That looks like the Folio Magi. Is it going to give me another loading screen? I bet it does. Oh. Wait, you don't Merlin. need to load now? Medieval. Dates on the it's already loaded? Okay, so that's the only one I have so far. I guess when we collect more, we'll be able to hopefully pick and choose and not have to flip through every single page. Freaking nerds, media, what is up? Welcome in. Dude, we've just been just admiring the rush of nostalgia that we've all been experiencing watching this. I didn't even, so my first experience, for those of you who didn't hear me say at the beginning, I first played the PC version, which is, is different. It was a completely different developer, actually. So some things were the same, some things were different. And it looks like this is the extent of the common room, you guys, on the PS1. So we saved, we grabbed the chocolate frog, we read the notice board, we read the Daily Prophet. That is crazy, man. Look at this, man. Look how far we've come, going to Hogwarts Legacy. This was the extent of the Gryffindor common room back in the PS1 era. All right, let's go on back out. And then I guess we go to the charms classroom because we haven't found any earwax flavor beans, which is what Fred and George said they needed. And now we know that thanks to that tip from Linus, we need to be on the lookout for pressing square in front of random things. Like, I wonder if I could do it right there. Can't wait for more Harry Potter games after the new series premiere. One game for each season. I would love that. But here's the thing. I... You guys hear that? What's going on? What's that? What's that eerie sound? I don't want you to jump up, Perry. I want to see if there's something hidden. Are these candles about to attack me or something? I don't like I don't like that sound. 
It's making me very uneasy. I think it's just, uh, maybe it's just, it's meant to make us get a little sense of magic at those floating candles. Hey, Harry! Remember me? There's Ron, Ron Weasley! That slimy slithering Draco Malfoy ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Wait. Let's go after him. I don't remember that happening. This is, okay, this is new. This is something new. I, I don't remember this plot line, but hey, on, I'm Harry. here with it. Let's find Hedwig. I'm well, here with well, it. Well, well, if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? <laughs> How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Mr. Malfoy. Wow. All right, well, they wanted to introduce us to his character and tell us what kind of person he is. And they did it. <laughs> Jeez. I don't even He's remember if He's a nasty his... piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindor should stick together. I don't even think Malfoy's book intro was that harsh. Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. <laughs> just push for. I've got presents. Just push forwards on your controller. Oh, Linus, dude. Thank you again for the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Only try on the thin bookshelves and some walls outside. Gotcha. Okay. So this, let's see, like... This right here, you can pretty clearly see, is a much uh, larger bookshelf. So that little secret passage we found earlier from Linus, courtesy of Linus. We need to look for uh, thin bookshelves instead. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the super chat, man. It means a lot. I Let's go. I don't know. Something about hearing him say controller just, just caught me off guard. Push forward on the controller. That was so dark from Draco, man. Follow me. Come on. Mm. Okay, so it's to jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. All right, Ron, we got it. So it's kind of like the old school Zelda, if you guys remember. Dude, this the camera movement is so bizarre. Can I reverse that? Like using, I'd at least rather L two go to the left. Uh, look mode. Maybe if I reverse it. Let's see now. Nope. And then the right analog stick does nothing. <laughs> Broomstick control. We haven't gotten to that yet, so. Well, I guess we just have to deal with it. Alright, so we just do this. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. Mm. Okay, Ron. Mm. You keep a lookout there. Oh, uh. goodness. Remember, guys, I'm not using uh. an analog stick. I'm having to use the... Okay, wait. Then if I do L2, that'll turn my camera. Ooh, okay. They're getting a little tricky on us, I bet. They want us to go this way. No! No! Oh, Harry. Harry. You jumped into the wall. Of course, you just knew. You just knew I was going to fall at the last one. Now I'm going to rush it. Come on. <laughs> the sound effects, they're so good. All right, fine. I'll completely line up the camera. <gasps> we made it, you guys. Okay, wait. Is this a thin bookshelf? No, this one's... No, that one's sticking out. Where's your mom, Potter? Right? He just went straight for the... My Hello, goodness. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. 
press the triangle button again when you've finished. Well, thank you, Nearly Headless Nick. Oh, there it is, man. There it is. Just listen. Just listen. Close your eyes and be transported back, my friends. Oh, that music. It's just iconic, dude. It's iconic. Okay, so this is when we press triangle. It's like a little first person look. Oh man, is the music done already? I mean, you could just put that one on loop. Fine by me. Fine by me if you just put that one on the loop. Gab, my favorite book, I, uh, my favorite book I've said before is <laughs> Deathly Hallows. I just love how it ended. I think, I mean, so often you see series, they just aren't able to stick the landing. And it stuck the landing. I just thought it brought everything together so, so beautifully. Favorite movie is a lot more difficult though I mean I say Prisoner of Azkaban usually even though I have some critiques of that whoa okay oh that's meant to be his hair for a second for a second I thought that was ears I'm like what is what is this creature here that's his hair okay got a dude over there all right, so they, I mean, PS1 era, they couldn't have the moving portraits, apparently, but at least we have some portraits. Oh, I messed up. So you actually can change your direction in midair. That's kind of nice. Hello, chocolate frog. Another feather, and then it automatically unlocks. So I guess you have to pick up all the feathers to unlock that. But now I'm like, okay, wait, hold on. Is that a secret if I go on up? Oh, man, you guys know. Just, I don't see anything, but... And what's the point of that? Maybe we'll find out later. To the Jinx rooms. What in the world? Favorite book is Deathly Hallows. Favorite movie, Order the Phoenix. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, what? Oh, dreadfully poisonous. Some <laughs> Press the cross button to cast the Fipendo knockback oh, chance no. from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Let's go, you guys. Flipendo time. Oh, and they bring back the music now. Did Harry just like... It's like he just charged up the wand or something. He just booted up the wand. Oh yeah, thank you, Dylan. Yeah, friggin' nerds, that's uh that's surprisingly the PS3 is backwards compatible. Even the PS3 Slim can play PS1 games. And then uh love your channel. When will there be more magic awakened? Can you play Lego Harry Potter? Okay, so Lego Harry Potter. We have um two videos on the Lego Harry Potter games. Where we went through and got the platinum trophy on those, so we probably you can won't use be. Your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. Why? Thank you. Appreciate that. We probably won't be playing any Lego Harry Potter stuff for a while because I did virtually everything I could do in those games. <laughs> but those videos are live still on the channel. You can you can find them and and watch them if you're. If you want to see some of like basically like the greatest hits of me playing through those games if he doesn't yell flipendo i'm gonna be very disappointed at some point you gotta yell flipendo but magic awaken though yeah i still play magic awaken pretty much weekly but i haven't really streamed it or anything but I'm, we might do a magic awaken stream at some point yeah that might be fun My son says I play it daily. <laughs> that I don't play it weekly, I play it daily. I've been playing it a little Press bit more Press the triangle lately. button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a flipendo knockback jinx from this view. <gasps> See what you can First find to flipendo Potter? in this room. What? Okay, that's actually pretty cool, hold on. All right, so that one's locked. No way. First person mode. Okay, so it said, see what you can... 
I guess we're looking for things to flipindo. Maybe Nick's gonna get Hello us. Hello again. Out. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? Yes. Things that twinkle can be affected by a flipendo oh, knockback gosh. jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flipendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast flipendo at it. Man, the voice acting so far. I'm here for it. Nick's voice actor has kind of an interesting, uh... I don't think it's actually John Cleese. Oh, just got house points for Gryffindor somehow. All right, and then I also wonder... Okay, that looks like just a chocolate frog up there. I don't think we really need that. This... Is that a web? We probably need Incendio or something to eventually get through that. But I'm guessing we can hop up here now and get our next feather. Sunshine, Daisy, Bottom Mellow. That was a food blast. If you hold it down, he says it. Yes. You guys have no idea how excited that makes me. Let's listen. Let's listen. Get a nice charge. Flipendo. Flipendo. All right, just the completionist in me. I know we don't need it, but hey. I'm over here, collect the, uh, is that a doorway right there? I don't think it is. Well, I'm glad we tried that because I thought it was Something we needed to use Incendio on. Flipendo! I think I like their way of doing it better. Because didn't he say it every single time in the PC version? Oh no, I didn't mean to fall off. Wario! Let's, what's up, dude? It's it's very charming so far. We're, we're still pretty early. Who is that? <gasps> Gotta be Snape, right? Snape's just like carefully watching over us. Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx to move it. Linus with another super to cast chat. cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. We just figured that out, Nick. We just figured it out. Linus with another super chat. Dude, appreciate it, Linus. Thank you for the support. The game is linear, so you will not come back to most of the places. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a really good point. So the web, things like the web, anything that I encounter in the room, I need to pay more attention to. Um, there's probably a way for me to solve it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, good to know. All right, so we know we can hit the star with Flipendo. Let's just get a look at this area here. Okay, so I'm just gonna send this. Oh, wait, what? Probably have to charge. Flipendo. Since he just taught us that. Flipendo. I really like that they give you the first person option too. Flipendo. Okay, it just locked into place, but now we can't, can't jump up that high, so we're gonna have to go around. Another feather? Ooh. What is that? Oh, oh my goodness. Please tell me we can send it back. No, wait. wait. We still won't be able to get over there. I don't know why I'm doing it because we can't jump up on it from here. Oh, man. There are areas you can go back to, but very few. Ah, gotcha, okay. All right, so hold on, you guys. That's clearly how we finished the level, but we just unlocked something over there. Maybe we can, can we make this jump, Harry? Yes! Oh my goodness, Harry can jump so far in this game. 
dude and it's just it's just for another chocolate frog oh man come on at least give me a wizard card up here okay now can we make this jump I don't know if there's anything over there or not let's take a peek law James yes the nostalgia we've all just been basking in it for the stream so far Yeah, you can like change your direction up in midair. Oh, I wonder what happens if you shoot these. Nothing. Okay. I don't care. Just let me explore, you guys. Just let me. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm already surprised at how how many little details they managed to fit in a game like this. Dependo. I mean, all the voice acting alone. Dependo. It's been pretty impressive for a PS1 game. Dependo. A PS1 game, you guys. In the year 2001. All right, let's line it up so we don't miss our jump. The hardest part for me so far is the controls because it doesn't let me use the. It's not letting me use the analog stick for some reason. Oh, never long bottom. Malfoy led me down Neville. here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. Oh man! I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flippendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Neville, my boy, that is a that is a rough <laughs> PS1 character model for Neville right there. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to what you're saying, dude. I'm sorry. I think he said to get the books out of the way. All right. Oh, come on, Harry. There we go. The lever is around here somewhere. Mia, welcome in. Good there, morning. I found it. Oh, secret passage. You can press R1 to lock on targets. Oh, wait, did I miss that tutorial? I may have. All right, hold on. Is there anything else in this room? Yeah, see, they automatically, like, lock you out from the previous room. Oh, you can hop on these. The camera controls are... The camera and then just his movement with the D-pad is the... They didn't have a 30. <laughs> oh, man. Poor guy. I think game designers back then generally went the extra mile with the little details. Hard to come by with modern games. Oh, dude. Hedwig's got, like, just a flat... <laughs> a flat face, too. I... I I definitely feel like maybe there's something about the older games where they they just come off as more charming. Modern games, I feel like there's just so much more that they have to pack in in general. Is that meant to be a snitch? I think it is. A charge for Pendo nut breakings might free Hegwood from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. They even call it the cross button. Which I think is technically the correct term. Oh yeah, there you go, R1. Flipendo. Flipendo. Hey, AJ, have a good one. Off to the dojo? Are you doing some like actual uh, karate, taekwondo stuff? Okay. Man, it's really dark. There we go. We need we need Lumos in here. Uh, I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Teach Malfoy. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Oh, we're not gonna help. 
<laughs> I'm not going to offer to help him. No way. Come on. I totally expect him to be like, oh, we'll help you find him. But no, they're just like, we'll see you later. Good luck, Neville. Hedwig just brought us. Why, thank you, Hedwig. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Flying lesson. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm ready for the flying lesson. The controls are probably going to be very, very rough, but... Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. Oh, I see I'm a still beam. waiting for I see my beam. broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to... No, 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 no! Let me get the bean! I saw a bean, and it was a yellow one. I bet it was the one Fred and George needed. You remember oh, every Madame single Hooch, sound from the teacher. game? There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Stay your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. Okay. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle, then. Oh, really? <sighs> okay. No. Done. We were so Five close. Five points for Gryffindor. I bet that was the last the next one. test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, Three two, one. Oh, and there's a birdie bot bean right there, too. I don't know if I should try and grab it. Focus on the... No. I'm going for it. Oh, I missed it. Come on, Harry. What? I do believe you may have a natural talent for this. Ready for a tougher challenge? No. Some bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. On my whistle. Three, Someone two, one. stepped on her one. face. <laughs> oh, the PS1 era. Wait, no way we missed that. We gotta get 37 for a perfect score? Oh my gosh, you guys. Well, that's not happening. Whoa. They got a lot smaller. Sheesh. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the bean. Concentrate, no. Potter, oh, we were... and try again. Wait, you're gonna make? I have to do this? Maybe? No way. We have to get all 40. That's insanity. I'm blaming the controls, man. If I could use the analog stick, we would have this done. Oh, I was. I thought I would try. I thought maybe it would work with the. Maybe it would work now that we're flying, but no. Whoa. Jeez. Oh. This is concentrate this is Potter, bad, guys. And try again. This is bad. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna try to just like get my thumb in the middle and just sort of. No, that's way, that's worse. That's a lot worse. Oh, 
when it starts getting small right here. Please, dude, if, if we have to get all of these, there's legitimately no way I'll be able to do this. Concentrate, Potter, and try again. Yeah, I could just go for the beam. Let's grab it. Now, I wonder if we keep it after this. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh! That one right there, like right after we fly by her. Oh my goodness. Well done, oh, Potter. Good score. Good. Five more house points for Gryffindor. You have mastered the basics Sheesh. of boosted control. Now run along. I don't know if we mastered it, Madam Hooch, but thank you for giving us a passing grade so we can move on. Wow. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all, and a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Oh, Hermione. Charm's class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? Dude, Runel. No, I didn't know that was a thing. Holding the PS button, going to controller settings, setting it to analog mode? <gasps> Dude, I'm about to try that, and if that works, that's a game changer. Hold on. You said controller settings. Oh my goodness. Please. Runel, I wish I could super chat you right now. <laughs> I wish I could send a super chat. Dude, thank you so much. That is, that is going to make a huge difference. Yes! Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing! Can I do another flying lesson, Madam Hooch? Oh, we would dominate now. We would dominate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've never... I guess this is the first time I've ever played a PS1 game on... On my PS3. That is some clutch info right there. Let's go. Support Crow in the house. Uh, what's up, Joe? Welcome in. Joe, I take it you played this one as well, judging by your uh, your comment on my Twitter post yesterday. <clears throat> but you played you played the PC version too, right? Oh, you can visit it later? I hope so. I just hope I get to do flying again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, let no. me. Oh, no. I forgot in my spell. Run. Let. Don't. Send me. I saw some beans, dude. Let me collect the beans. That's going to make this game so much more enjoyable, though. You guys just have no idea. You guys have no idea. Oh, my goodness. It's so much better. Get to the charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Before the timer runs out? Why, are, why am I being timed? Alright, here we go. Oh, I thought it was gonna go the other way. Pick the perfect time to give me that tip. You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms That class. makes such You're a big difference. Time. Having the analog stick Welcome, right Welcome, young wizard. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my wand move and press the symbol button it points to. 
complete each sequence Whoa. three times to Wait. learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Wait, what? Now you try. Remember, press the symbol button that my one points to. That my one Get points ready. to. Get ready. Okay. Keep what? trying. Keep trying. Not good. Oh, we gotta be early. That was good. Oh, dear. <coughs> that was good. Excellent. Perfect. There we go. Superb. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. It's good. No. Wait. Whoa. Not good. That was good. I'm pushing the right Not one. Good. The timing is just. That was good. Excellent. Not good. Excellent. Perfect. I don't know if it's like input lag or what. It's like a little well bit before You've you think Wingardium you need to press Leviosa. it. Leviosa. Butter, Granger, and Weasley. Follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa spell put into practice. Well, there's another difference from the PC version. Now, listen oh, carefully. An, input an object yeah, that can yeah, be yeah. charmed can will be marked that. with a yellow sparkle. A charmed object can be levitated. Keep Kaylee, the cross welcome. button depressed if you want to change the object height. Kaylee and Elwyn. What's up? Try welcome levitating in, welcome the in. hourglass onto its pedestal to open the door. Okay. Press the triangle button to release the object. Man, this game has a lot of little uh control features I didn't expect. Like the fact that you can go first person. Okay, wait, I didn't even listen. How did he How do I how do I cast Wingardium? Remember to keep the cross button depressed to change its height. Levitate the hourglass onto the pen. Is it still just pressing X? Wingardium okay. Leviosa! You have to lock on. Wingardium Leviosa. Where am I supposed to put it? Oh, over here. Well done! Five points well to Well done! Gryffindor. In Harry Potter 2 for PS1, when it... It sparkles for perfect. Maybe, Linus, or maybe I just was was off with my timing right there. It's possible. Dear Harry, please meet me in the you castle You can get ground. to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Pop around for a cup of tea and a chat. I have something important to tell you. Yes! Your friend, Hagrid. PS1 Hagrid? PS1 Hagrid, ladies and gentlemen, he's coming up. Oh my goodness, I think it's time. I think I think we're about to go see him right now. Elwin, thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having a great day so far. Yes, we're having a good time here. Just basking in the nostalgia of the old school Harry Potter video games. All right, let's overwrite our save. We got see, we got to remember, we cannot forget to save in this one, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's just so much better. Oh, can I do flying practice again though? Let me do it again. Let me do it again. And then chat can see if I was actually correct or not, saying that all I needed was ah, the. Ah, hello again, Potter. Yeah. I see you've come back for more practice. I've come back. I have a special task for you. Some of Hagrid's pet Flitterby moths escaped into the courtyard. If you're quick, moths. you can catch them all. Okay, ready, Potter? Go! Alright, let's see how much of a difference this actually makes. Wait, is that some? Nope. Five. Four. Three, the timer? Whoever said the timer is so aggressive, you were not kidding. It makes me very nervous. Two, one, and where's the last one? There it is. I see it. Let's go. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have collected them all. 
Hagrid will be pleased. I told you guys. For such a service to the school, I shall award 10 points to Gryffindor. Using this bad boy right here compared to these, huge, huge difference. Perfect. All right. Now we got to find PS1 Haggard. Where's he at? He said he's out on the grounds. I guess, do we just go back to the front door? Of Hogwarts? Okay, that's... Into the common room. It's this way. <laughs> the timer, right? The timer is so nerve-wracking. Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past mm. me, no matter how hard you try. Now this was Trapped in... in a big scary castle, eh? The PC oh, game. Oh dear. I think Potter is going to cry. Almost... I think it's almost exactly the same situation. Wingardium Leviosa! Except we had, we had, to, Leviosa. we had to battle Malfoy in the other one. Are we not going to battle him? Come on, you. <laughs> Wait. Wait, you don't actually battle him here? Oh, here we go. Ow. Time for okay, a lesson, okay. Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. Wizard You're not leaving Christ. this castle until I have revenge. Wait, I can't cast the spell. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there. That's right. You pick it up and throw it back at him. All right. I'm not hitting him though, am I? Why is that not hitting him? Okay, so I have to move out of the way. Let it hit the ground. We'll pick it up. Throw. There we go. There we go, Malfoy. Oh! Go ahead. Call Crap. your friends. Take care call of this upstart. Now, Potter, I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. My super wizard crackers. Mm. Mm. What is happening? Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, we missed him. Okay, so Goyle still throws those. Now. Oh, he moves. He moves faster. Okay, so we have to pick up yours. Wait for it. Now. Still the timing. Now. Nope. Oh my goodness! Dude, he moves so quick now. I think I'm still hitting him though. I just saw his health change a little bit. Okay, wait for him to stop now. Nope, didn't get anything that time. Okay, right now. There it is, there it is. Nope. Man, you have to throw it this, like, as soon as he stops. There we go, big hit, big hit, big hit. In a school where they have magic wands, they're like, nah. Let's throw ah. these wizard crackers at each other. Oh my gosh, man, we're missing it. There we go. Crab, you idiot! You're supposed to protect me! Goyle, no get in here! 
Hey, now Robo show Panda. To the Welcome real in. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is great. Oh my goodness. Ah, I did it too early. Wait for it. Arrow. Nice. No, I didn't mean to throw it yet. Ah, I got greedy. Just trying to see if we could get two really quick right there. Oh, he's close. He's close. Last you, Potter. Next time you won't be so lucky. Oh, he's just done. He's just... What, what is with the clapping, man? It's like he's communicating with them through the claps. Oh my gosh, he goes... <laughs> Hey, you can see the love and care they put into this, man. You can definitely see they wanted Meanwhile, to put some. The house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Oh, they're in there. So we haven't seen them yet. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Why is the number going down? Slytherin. Oh, it's just like it's going in. I get it. That's kind of weird. You'd think that would just show you the number Gryffindor. that they have. Gryffindor in the lead. Let's go. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Will Slytherin hold the house cup for a seventh consecutive year? The cheer right there, man. That's too funny. That is too funny. The growl, when, I know, the growl, the posing, the clapping, what was that? Okay, wait, is it time for PS1 Hagrid? <gasps> there he is! There's our boy! Hello, Harry, it's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. <laughs> These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. You'll oh need goodness. to attend your herbology class. Professor Sprout's in the greenhouse waiting for you. Come round my hut later for tea. I've something to ask you. My hut's in the grounds. No, don't leave Hagrid. We need more time with Hagrid. That was too short. Oh my goodness. That is too funny. Wait, what did I do? I, I don't even know what I just did. Okay, wait. I just started. I probably should have lined everything up first. Yeah, we definitely should have lined everything up first. I'm just gonna let the timer run out. More birdie bot beans. Wait, imagine? Can we still make it? Ah, Harry Potter. You're late for Herbology. Five points from Gryffindor. Sprout! Yes, I would like to try again. Give me those points back, Sprout. Come on, man. Oh, it triggers as soon as you walk by. Okay, Sprout. Sprout, driving a hard bargain here. Oh no. Flipendo. Flipendo. Dude, that's like, that's like the teacher when you walk into class as the bell's ringing, and she gonna pull out the, you're late, Potter. 
Give me my points back, Sparrow. Harry Potter, I presume. Welcome to Herbology. You're just in time. Just in time. Good day, students. Oh, no points. I'm Professor Sprout. No. Right. Let's okay. learn how to cast All an right. incendiary right, spell. Thought Watch you were Hufflepuff. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Oh, great. Here Complete we go. Complete each sequence three times to learn the incendiary spell. Rhythm game. That's the ticket. Now let's start the lesson. Get okay. ready. We're ready. Oh dear. Don't you? Oh dear me. Oh dear. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Definitely an input delay thing. You need to push it early. Most impressive. Now try this one. Oh goodness. That was good. Keep trying. That was good. Just stop talking. Excellent. <laughs> Shh. Oh dear. Excellent. Stop talking. Perfect. The well talking done. is driving you me crazy. The incendio spell. Now follow me to learn how to use the incendio spell. Yeah, you better teach us something, Sprout. Goodness. I thought I like. I always liked you too, Sprout. Let's try the incendio spell to wither a Come bouncing on, man. bulb. Use your wand on the bouncing bulb by the door. Hit the correct symbols, and you'll build up enough spell power to affect the bulb. Have a good one, Joe. Use your wand on the bouncing bulb by the door. Hit the correct symbols, and you'll build up enough spell power Ooh, to affect so, the. So this is a little bit different. Incendio. What? Whoa. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. What is... What? My brain. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Incendio! Okay, so... Which one am I supposed to watch? It doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. You did not just bring out the triangle on us. You did not just break out the triangle. Incendio. It's like square X, square X. Oh, here's a triangle. Excellent, Harry. Five points to Gryffindor. Give me those five points. Dude, she did. She kept the points. Because we were at 20. Even though I redid it. She kept those house points, man. Have you been to Quidditch training yet? This year, they're even letting first years train. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. <laughs> so they just made up their story. They just told the story they wanted to with this game. Because <laughs> they haven't followed... I mean, aside from the little storybook reading at the beginning, this has not followed the actual plot at all. Like, which Philosopher's Stone, I feel like, followed it better than this. Oh my goodness. Murphy, welcome in. Got a new job this week, so new hours. Other than the chat, did you miss anything fun? You've missed... Uh, you, I would definitely check out the replay squad later. You missed, you missed some fun stuff with uh, with this game, really. I mean, I've been, I've been surprised at how... How many little fun details this game has. So are you at work? Did you just finish work, Murphy? Oh, I dropped my controller. Or are you going into work? Hopefully you just, hopefully you're finished. It's gonna be tough with the input delay, right? That was a strange scene. By the way, guys, if you weren't here at the beginning, um, you can support the stream getting a free audiobook from audible.com. Just go to audibletrial.com slash retro. Madam Hooch was really impressed by my broomstick control. Maybe one day I'll even get to play for Puddle Mill United. And you even get to keep that book if you cancel within the 30-day trial. So the Harry Potter books are on there. My son and I, we've been actually 
going through them. He's listened to the first two so far. So it's a great way to support the stream and get... If you're an Amazon Prime member, you actually get two free audiobooks, so... Yo, Welcome, Dylan got Mr. it Potter. in the chat. Grab your Appreciate it, man. And we'll begin the training. All right, Madam Hooch, now Welcome that I got the... Welcome to training. Whichever seeker catches the golden snitch scores his team 150 yeah, I'm gonna let points. You finish. I'm gonna let you finish. Which is why seekers tend to get fouled so much. For your first seeker training, let's practice chasing the snitch. Fly through ten hoops generated by the golden snitch. Ten hoops. Get set. We got this, we got this. Three, two, one. Now that we can use the analog stick, we got this. Alright, ten hoops. Where are we at? There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. Come on. No misses. No misses. Seven. Oh. Oh, wait. They just keep appearing. I thought I had to stop. That's my bad. Not bad That's at my all, bad. Potter. That's my bad. That's my bad. For that performance, you've earned bronze wings. Let me let me go again. Let me go again, Madam Hooch. No, 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 no. We don't. We're not settling for the bronze. Time for your second seeker training lesson. We're, we're not. You no. seem to have the hang no. of chasing the snitch. Now let's see if you're any good at catching it. Now fly through twenty hoops, then hit the cross button Shay when on. the snitch moves towards your Dude, hand. Dude, thank you for the super chat. My mark. I'm gonna get. Three, I'm gonna get to it. Two, Hold on. One. I will get to your comment, Madam Hooch. Is just like. She's ticking me off right now. I can't believe... She didn't let me try that again. She's like, bronze, Potter. And you'll be happy with it. See, I thought I couldn't miss any rings. Like, I thought it was like the other task. Whoa! Harry! Something's going on with Harry's broomstick! Come on, Harry. Get control. Harry! Harry! Get control! What do you think about that, Madam Hooch? Come on, where's the goal? No! Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know we had to do this. Excellent. For that performance, you've earned gold wings and 25 house points to Gryffindor. Give me those gold wings. Give them to me. In a Quidditch match, whichever team seeker catches Ooh. the golden snitch wins okay. his team 150 points. This often results in that seeker's team winning the match. We got next. Now, match. let's see how you manage catching a snitch while racing oh, against great. another seeker. Madam Hooch, can I? Okay. Wait, can I at least pause? Can I? Can I pause? Okay, good. Thank you for letting me pause, Madam Hooch. <laughs> Shayon, appreciate the super chat, man. Thank you very much. Hogwarts Legacy 2 doomed. They want to make a live service Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, has there been is there like some new news or something? Or are you just talking about uh Zaslav's comments, this the CEO? <clears throat> I don't think they will with Hogwarts Legacy. I don't I don't think they will. Um, but you never know, man. You never know. I hope. Oh, wait. I do see this. I do see this. Oh, my gosh. This is some breaking news. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. I might need to make. Whoa, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, you guys. This is actually huge. This is actually huge. In a recent Morgan Stanley speaking event, Warner Brothers has said that going forward, its strategy will focus on more, this is uh, from insidergaming.com, will focus more on more live service mobile and free-to-play games. Warner Brothers Discovery Gaming boss J.B. Perrette said on the gaming company, said on the company's future strategy. Here's the quote. We're doubling down on games as an area where we think there is a lot more growth opportunity that we can tap into with the IP that we have and some of the capabilities we have on the studio where we're uniquely positioned as both a publisher and a developer of games. Okay, I'm good with that so far. Rather than just launching a one-and-done console game, how do we develop a game around, for example, a Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter 
that is a live service where people can live and work and build and play in that world in an ongoing basis. Close quote. He continued. <sighs> oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to keep reading. The move does come somewhat of a, uh, come somewhat of a surprise considering Harry Potter that's not the name of the game, but Hogwarts Legacy, was 2023's best-selling title, which is the first time a game has dethroned Call of Duty or a Rockstar game in over 15 years. By the end of 2023, Hogwarts Legacy achieved sales of 22 million copies. I think they've hit over 24 million now. If that's not good enough, what is? In late 2023, Insider Gaming exclusively reported that Harry Potter, that Warner Brothers currently does have a... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warner Brothers does currently have a live service game. Dude, I can't read. I'm like, I'm, I'm stumbling over everything trying to react to this live. But also they've got some typos in this article. In late 2023, Insider Gaming exclusively reported that Warner Brothers currently does have a live service Harry Potter game in development named Quidditch Champions. We kind of expected that. The game is a twist on the very popular Rocket League where players need to score a ball in hoops but does offer fluid and fast-paced gameplay that does have a skill gap that players could come to enjoy. La late, late last year, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions had its biggest playtest yet, suggesting that the game could be nearing a release. Whew. I feel like we need to go full screen for a moment, you guys. I feel like we need to go full screen for a moment. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like... I'm going to I'm going to timestamp this. You guys are going to get my my raw real reaction to this in real time. Okay, wow. All right. So, guys, taking a bit of a break from the regular uh gameplay stream just to react to some news that came out today. Um so we've heard in the past that Warner Brothers was going to be David Zaslav had talked about wanting to focus more on this live service strategy. I actually have a 40 minute plus podcast with James, AKA expecto go here on the channel. You can go and watch that. And I mean, hearing this now, I share many of those concerns, same concerns. And to be fair, I'm someone who wants an MMO. I want a Harry Potter MMO. I want a console MMO live service. I'm all for it. However, this is the first time we've directly heard them oh man I just like I feel sick to my stomach I'm sorry I don't want to hide it from you guys <laughs> like I just I feel sick to my stomach hearing this here's what he said I'm going to read it to you again Rather, this is a direct quote from the Warner Brothers Discovery gaming boss J.B. Peretz he says rather than just launching a one and done console game how do we develop a game around, for example, a Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter that is a live service where people can live and work and build and play in that world in an ongoing basis? Close quote. No, 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 no. Oh, man. For the first time, I'm legitimately considering that we might not get a Hogwarts Legacy 2. Or if we do, it is going to be vastly, vastly transformed. Right, Mia? Right? Like, my goodness. Oh, man. Like, I, I just... I know they're business people. They have guys, they're a company that they're focused on making money. Like that's, that's the thing. They have people there way smarter than me. I'm sure of that. They have business people smarter than me. They have gaming people smarter than me. But you just had a game. Okay. You just had a game. Sell more copies than any other game. Than any other game game it made over a billion dollars and it was entirely single player focused it was focused on story it was focused on delivering an experience that put fans in that world um 
and now you you want them i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong like in that in that podcast sort of episode i did with james i did with expecto go we talked about how um we talked about like you know they could maybe they could coexist right like let avalanche do their thing make a single player game and then hire a new team maybe it's not avalanche maybe it's some other studio that's fine and let them make the live service game, which I I want to see. But my biggest concern was always I don't want them to. If if Avalanche wants to make Hogwarts Legacy two a continuation of our story, building out all these systems, which we can see that they had bigger and better plans for. As much as we love Hogwarts Legacy as is, we can see they had way bigger plans for what they wanted that game to be. Let them make the game that they fully wanted to make. And you would be rewarded. Like, people will buy that game. <sighs> Man, I'm going to have to think about what I want to say in a video. But that's that's tough, man. I just, I really hope, I really, really hope. Like, we were we were also talking about this on the recent live stream with Andy, with Expectogo, with uh, Miranda Lorian, with um, Lynette, with Ben. Like, if they go that route... Like Miranda straight up said she doesn't like she doesn't play live service games. And I think a couple of other people on the panel said the same thing. Like they're gonna lose people, man. They're gonna lose people if that's what they want to do. Hopefully they do both. I mean, I think there's room for both, but I, I that's the first time they've ever said Hogwarts Legacy and Live Service in the same sentence. Then you start connecting two and two. You start connecting the dots more and more. You go back to there was a job posting for Avalanche that said they wanted live service experience. They're clearly trying to add it in, man, is my guess. They're clearly trying to add it in, would be my guess. That might be the summer update. Maybe it is going to be some sort of multiplayer which if they want to add that on, like I'm even cool with that. I would enjoy a multiplayer add-on for Legacy, but my biggest fear is that we don't get a Hogwarts Legacy 2 that is a spirit that is a successor, that is a sequel to Hogwarts Legacy 1 doing bigger and better things with those systems. <sighs> All right, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. Let me see what you're talking about in the chat. Oh, we had another super chat drop in too. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to get caught up to all these. Oh, yeah. Exactly, Becky. We're going to have to make... There's going to be a big video. <laughs> there's going to be a big, big video that I need to make to talk about this. Noah with the Super Chat. By the way, Noah, we were shouting you out earlier. Noah was our first member to become a member at the Phoenix tier. We just opened those up. And so Noah will get a shout out at the end of the video, along with Dylan, who bumped up his membership earlier. Thank you, Noah, and thank you, Dylan. But yeah, Noah coming in with a super chat too. WB is getting stingy. They can't get why Hogwarts Legacy sold millions. It's just like, like I said, I mean, I'm sure they have people smarter than me, business people, but I just like, I don't, I, I don't understand how you can look at what happened with Rocksteady and Suicide Squad, which I know some people like the game. If you like it, that's great, but, but, but financially, and going from what that studio Rocksteady was known for, making beloved games that sold well, the Arkham games sold well, they still sell well today. And Suicide Squad, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe they can save it, but I saw just yesterday, I saw something about the player count is just like absolute, it is tanked. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's almost dead already. And they had like a multi-year plan for this game. And then you look at Hogwarts. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like I know, I know. I wanna, I wanna also try and look at it from the other side because I know they have to look in the future. They have to, guys. They have to try and guess where the industry is going. And so I guess that's what they're doing here. But come on, man. Come on. Don't turn Avalanche into Rocksteady, please. Please, just please. Let Avalanche make what they want to make. Don't force the live service elements into it if that's not what they want to do, man. 
and now I'm legitimately afraid that's what they want to do. Oh. <laughs> okay. Have they not learned? Yeah, Suicide Squad, exactly. I wouldn't mind if it wasn't just an MMO. Like, what are you saying, Becky? Like, if they did both? Like, that's where I... Like, if they did both, I'm fine. I want an MMO. I do. I want to see the full multiplayer live service do all the things. But I don't want it to take away from a possible Hogwarts Legacy sequel. That's just me. That's just me. So if done right, we could be playing with our friends, going to class together, doing dungeons together. <sighs> Theo, yes, yes, but a live service game for it to make money, the way they typically make money is microtransactions. And there are many ways that devs have tried and failed to do microtransactions. Everybody's chasing Fortnite. Everybody's chasing Rocket League. They want they want the cash cow games that they that will just just make money. And you just put out updates for it. And Fortnite's mastered it, man. And that's what everybody's chasing. Fortnite's the best example of it. But there's a reason that there's only like a couple of examples people can think of. Because it's not easy. It's like, it's really hard to do. So, Fortnite, I gotta give them Five credit, pounds man. from Noah. I won't be able to play the game that I love the most if they turn it to a live service dot. <laughs> There's a lot of people in that boat, dude. And thank you for the donation, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate the donation. Yeah, that I was like, wait a second. I forgot I turned those things on. The little uh <laughs> the little uh voice thing. Yeah, there's a lot of people in that boat. But yeah, there's a reason like Fortnite mastered it and and to be fair to Fort Fortnite does it very well. Like you you can experience everything about Fortnite not paying a dime, which is pretty amazing. So if it's an approach like that, yeah, they can make it work. If it's an approach like, uh, what's the other one that just came out? Helldivers 2, I've heard, has been been praised for being a, a live service game that's structured in the right way. But for every one of those, you have all these failed games, man. You have all these failed games. It's what I was saying on the live stream that we did, the group live stream with Expect to Go, Andy Reloads, Miranda Lorian, um, Wizard PhD, and Benjamin Snow. Look at Naughty Dog. Like, oh! I'm, I promise we're going to get back to gameplay here in a second. But there are just so many cautionary tales, man. Naughty Dog, a premier, premier single-player developer. I mean, I, I think the top five, I think everybody would have considered Naughty Dog top five just like prestigious developers, man. The first Uncharted was a great game. Was a, was a very good game. And then after that, it's just like great game after great game with those guys. Single player focused. Then with uh, Uncharted, they actually started making a solid multiplayer mode. With the first Last of Us, they made a really good multiplayer mode. And then they got they got the dollar signs in their eyes for chasing the live service, the, the leadership there. And so they try to make a game like Factions. And go go read the statement that Naughty Dog put out a few months ago. Like I wish I wish the WB executives. I mean, maybe they already have. Like talk to the people at Naughty Dog, man. Read the statement that they put out. Naughty Dog decided that they couldn't. They canceled the game, man. They worked on that game for years, and they straight up canceled it. They canceled it because they said we came to a point where we had to decide what kind of studio are we? Are we story driven? games or are we live service games and thankfully for Naughty Dog like I want to see more Naughty Dog games from them thankfully they chose the story route now you hate that they I was kind of curious to see I wanted to see how they would do a, a factions game but it just goes to show that there's it doesn't always work out perfectly even among the best developers in the world it doesn't so would I trust Avalanche to give it a shot yeah but I'd much rather Avalanche get to make what they want to make <laughs> Hopefully it's all for naught. Hopefully, hopefully we're we're getting worried about for no reason, and hopefully they're gonna let Avalanche make a Hogwarts Legacy two that doesn't have to be live service. Um, but I'm I'm the most uneasy I've been, man. I'll tell you that. 
I will tell you that. Jenny, super disappointed. Agree with you, Retro. Wouldn't mind an MMO, but leave Hogwarts like a Zillow. Right, right, right. Derek, you added something over in the Discord. Statistics aren't everything. Doesn't matter how much money it made. It still needs mass improvement. Don't trust. I'm not sure what you're talking about in terms of mass improvement, like Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, that's from a business side, that that matters. That's the only thing that matters on the business side. On the business side, on the to the shareholders, to the people that they talk to, that they have to talk to once, I think it's once a month they do these shareholder, or maybe once a quarter they do those shareholder meetings. That is the only thing that matters. <laughs> that is it. Hogwarts Legacy 2 and MMO should be kept separate, says Becky. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. And if they do that, or or I mean, to be fair, like the way Andy Reloads has pitched it is like, I haven't played GTA online, but like it, it, for Grand Theft Auto, the way it's set up there is like, you can go in and you can play the full Grand Theft Auto incredible story, Grand Theft Auto 5. And then they've got GTA online, which they have made a ton of money from. And it's just like two separate modes. Now, my counter to that when I was talking with Andy is uh, I was like, well, look how long it's taken them to get GTA 6 out. So, yes, it's kind of a have your cake and eat it too situation. GTA fans are still getting both. They're still getting the live service and they're still going to get the full-fledged story games. But the story game, you're going to have to wait a long time, much longer for it. So, yeah, man, there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to have to read and see where this originated from and, like, see if there's any more quotes to it but man you threw me for a curveball there with that super chat i was hoping i was hoping you were just talking about the previous comments from uh from zaslav yeah ghost of tsushima is a, a good example good example don't have time to keep playing a lot of live service games yep for sure super co-op with 100 people one year equals 100 days yeah like i feel like co-op would be one of the ways to go for sure. Yeah, hi IQ Warrior, welcome in by the way, right? Yeah, it's not it's not always a bad thing. Like I I fully would be excited. Like I would be I would want to see. I the, the fact that he says Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter or and Harry Potter whatever he said, it's like okay, so maybe they're still in the like figuring it out stages. If you are do do Harry Potter. Let Hogwarts Legacy do their thing. <laughs> Let them do their thing, please. Partner with actually successful live service like Naughty Dog, right? Like where they, what they tried to do with Naughty Dog, man. Why am I getting this little notification? What's going on here? Something on my PC is freaking out. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know what it is. Hogwarts Legacy with Borderlands style co-op. So Robopanda, you sounds like you and you high IQ warrior. So you guys would be fine if they fully took if they take Hogwarts Legacy and go in the live service direction. See, there are there are some people like that. <clears throat> King Tut, a live service idea sounds good, never seems to work. Like it can, but I just feel like it's really hard. It's really hard. Their stock is down forty three percent since. I mean, yeah, but there's Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers Discovery is a they're they're a massive company. They're way more than just video games. How much more? The question, Andrew, is what would it be down if Hogwarts Legacy hadn't made what it made? <laughs> It'd probably be probably be even more down. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking at WB Discovery stock price, that that covers everything from. When they did that merger, they own like CNN now. They own like the Discovery Channel, like uh, Mac, HBO became Max, like all that stuff. So that stock price is not just reflecting of the video game side. That's reflecting everything, which is is why David Zaslav's like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. <laughs> he wants more Harry Potter. Um, that's why they're making the TV show. And they're doing the reboot of the original seven books, which most most fans would have said, nah, do something different in that world. But Zaslav's like, no, Harry Potter, Harry Potter 
is what has been a cash cow over the years, and so that's probably why they're remaking it. <clears throat> yeah, you store right. Naughty Dog's in trouble now. They're gonna. I mean, I'm sure they've got. They have enough um, loyalty with Sony that they're gonna have a chance to get there to right the ship. But I mean, you look around, even like the gaming industry, all these layoffs, man. It's it's crazy times, dude. It's crazy, crazy times right now. Yeah, Cheyenne, that's the thing. They would they would lose a lot of people like from the Hogwarts legacy community. But they're what they're trying to weigh that with. Yeah, they would lose like the people there's so many people who bought PS5s to play Hogwarts Legacy. They would lose those people. But what they're hoping is the diehards like me <laughs> would be spending so much money on the game that it would make up for it. Which I don't I don't typically do. Even with um I don't like microtransactions. My son laughs at me because I don't want to. I like. I don't care about skins in Fortnite. Like I bought the. I bought a battle pass one time, and the great thing about Fortnite is if you buy the battle pass, and then you just play the game, you make enough through the game to just you just get the battle pass every time. But like all the new skins and stuff coming to the shop, I'm like, I don't care the emotes. I don't care about all that. But a lot of people do. A lot of people do. People are going crazy on X right now. Facebook and Instagram are both down. What? Right as this news is happening? That's crazy. Yeah, my PC's freaking out over the news. Just about to mention GTA Online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You left for a moment. What are we talking about? Oh, Anna. Live service in Hogwarts Legacy. There's some news that has broken as we've been streaming here. You got laid off, Anna? Oh my goodness, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Fortunately, you have another job lined up. Well, that's... I'm glad you have another job lined up. Yeah, exactly, Joseph. Quidditch Champions, that's what the article said, and that's what most of us have expected, is that it's going to be live service. But man, they mentioned specifically Hogwarts Legacy. <sighs> Well, this is fun. this has been fun to react. It's definitely something to talk about. Obviously, it's going to be something I need to make a video on. But um, I still have hope. I still have hope that they... I mean, Avalanche, it's got to have earned them something, right? Seeing how well they did with Hogwarts Legacy. I would hope. I would hope. We'll see, man. All right. Well, I want to get back to some gameplay. I don't want to end it on this note. So let's let's let me uh, write down the timestamp here, and we can. I mean, we can obviously continue the conversation. I'm not just going to completely stop talking about it, but I do think it'll be it'll be better to jump back into the game. All right, people of the internet, let's get back to some gameplay here. If you guys are watching this in the replay squad, you can use the timestamps down below to. Uh, check out any section of the stream we just had some a little bit of a hogwarts legacy news story pop up oh my goodness i, I forgot we were well that's a way to jump back in we were right in the middle of it yeah we had some hogwarts legacy news break thanks to a super chatter let me know about it oh no no How are they ahead of me? No. Come on, Harry. Get that snitch. I don't know where the seeker went, but we're getting close. Did we lose? Oh crap, snitch. There Excellent. we go. Excellent. For that performance, gold you've wings gold again? wings again and 25 house points for Gryffindor. Let's go. 
Run along then, Mr. Potter. The Quidditch training doors are always open for you. All right, so we're earning the ones back that Sprout just took from us. Just a name. Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by, Justin Aim. Hope you're having a good day so far. Murphy Aslan, you gotta head out again. Well, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you hanging out. Feels like the wind guy. <laughs> I know, right? No, I mean it could it could be uh it could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of things. And, uh, of course, our minds are just going to go to worst-case scenario, thinking about Hogwarts Legacy and what they could do to it in the future. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they're still going to involve Avalanche. So, whatever they do, we just have to hope that Avalanche will be able to, um, you know, do what they did this time. Listen to the community. Okay, wait. Should I go back to Quidditch training or... I think we just go back in here now. Yeah, Wario, I was late to Herbology. I was just take. I thought I could, uh... I was actually just waiting for it to run out. I said, I, I said, let me just wait. I, I didn't know that she would actually... Oh, man. I didn't even mean to trigger it. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going now. Hold on, there's got to be a way that we can, uh... We got to be able to find something. To tell us what... You, Dan, you did. You missed PS1 Hagrid. I'm hoping he comes back soon. It was, he wasn't on screen enough. He was only on screen for a very, a very brief moment. Oh, we got to go back to Hagrid? <gasps> Let's go. Hold on, let me grab all these beans right now. I think this is the flavor that Fred and George need, so... Oh man, the vibes here in the dungeon, though? Mr. Potter, your celebrity status does not grant He's gonna take points, watch. Rights. A sloth brain has gone missing from my classroom. No potions lessened until it is returned. A sloth brain. All right, Snape. They said I need to go to Hagrid anyway. I'm going back. I'm going to talk to Hagrid instead. Oh, he told me to go to his hut. That's right. We just... I got... I got thrown off with the... Legacy discussion. <laughs> Start a hashtag campaign, WB, leave Hogwarts Legacy alone. Oh, man. All right, so Hagrid, my boy. Which way are the grounds? What do you need? Did you get done? Yeah. Hey, it's, it's almost lunchtime, too, if you want to... You ate... Okay. Milan! Welcome in, welcome in. Is this where he is? Want the password for the portrait, Harry? Bring us blue oh, every no. flavor beans. You need blue beans but watch over yourself. here? There are some weird creatures running around out there. Found those blue every flavor beans yet? I, I thought I had some, don't I? Oh, we've got two. I don't even know if this is the right way. My poor kitten has fallen down the well. I can't reach her. Wait, they have little random it's events very dark down like there. this? Will you help me? If you can find the bottom of the well, you might find her. Oh, the bottom of the well? Drink potion. That doesn't seem safe in the wizarding world, just walking up to an unknown potion. Is this the grounds, maybe? It's 
Snape and the other Slytherins telling me off in these games. I used to have a puffs game. Right. But Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Oh my. Used it for bludger practice. Puffs games. Friendly fellas. But they have a large appetite. Hagrid. <laughs> I love how he says his name. Hagrid. Chocolate frog. All right, I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to go back here. Oh, that potion gives you all your health back. Okay. So that's all it does. I was wondering if it like if it was like a shrinking potion or something and made it so I could fit through that. I guess that's something we'll get to do later on. Oh my goodness, Alicia. Welcome in. It has been too long, Alicia. How have you been with the 16 months? Alicia, thank you for all of your continued support on the channel. Hagrid. I can't even get my voice that deep. All right, guys. Who's ready for more PS1 Hagrid? There he is. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. <laughs> Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds from a rare plant in the forest? The plant lives just beyond the gargoyle gate. Been some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. Be careful. I cannot get my voice that deep. Be, 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 be careful, Harry. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, there was a secret wall. Did I miss a secret wall, Linus? Go back to. Hold on. Looks like we can still move around freely, so I think we can hit it. There's the secret wall out here somewhere. Right? The voice is so good. <laughs> oh, and the puff skin right there. So right there where I just left. Wait, maybe these? Nope. Nope. PS1 Hagrid, my beloved. <gasps> oh. Okay, alright. So it's somewhere in this area. Alright, nice, nice, nice. You guys looking out for me. Don't want me to miss any of these. Uh, I'm guessing, hopefully it's another wizard card. Those are my favorite collectibles here. Okay, that we read the sign right there. Oh, wait. That looks like a secret area. Sneaky, sneaky. Look at that. Look at that. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for catching that. Try to grab all the Bertie Box beans, but mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your beans. What is, what is this top-down view? It's terrible. You collected all the Bertie Box beans. You've earned a famous witches and wizards card for your troubles. Yes, who's it gonna be? I, I predict Dumbledore. No, it's not Dumbledore. Yes, view the no. folio magi. Oh, I think he was about to read it if I didn't even if I didn't even load it. Oh, Derwent yeah. Shimpling. 1912 to present. Ate an entire venomous tentacular for a bet and survived. <laughs> Though it's still purple. <laughs> this, the kids' voice acting was so good in this. Better than the adults, I gotta say. Uh, just the name, we've got this one. Then we've got Chamber on PS1. And then we have pretty much all of the mobile games. A couple more PC games. And then like the really, really obscure ones like Wonderbook Book of Spells, Wonderbook Book of Potions. And also the Harry Potter for Connect game. <laughs> so we still got a few. 
Okay, wait, let me do this first. Especially since we got that wizard card. I know, right? The kid, the voice of the kid was great. I keep saying, like, that's a couple times the, the hairy voice has been really good. All right, so we need some kind of a fire seed or something. Out of my way, Harry. There's a, there's a huge monster down there. What? <laughs> hey, what? Where? A huge monster where? Oh, he's just gone. He is gone. Out of my way, Harry. Who is that? Hello, you're a Gryffindor student, aren't you? Nice to see a new face. If you want to proceed, you'll need to know my password. Once you have it, come see me and I'll open for oh, you. Oh, is this the one that Fred and George... I'll just hang around here for a while. <laughs> Good luck, young Gryffindor. This might be the one that Fred and George will give us. Man, I am loving the secrets already. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't follow him. Does he, yeah, does he just Hello, keep... Harry. Try to grab all the Bertie Bot's beans. But mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your Oh, beans. is this the one you are talking about, Linus? That we missed? There might be another one. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Well done, Harry. You collected all the Bertie Box beans. You've earned a famous witches and wizards card for your troubles. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm gonna say no. Newt Scamander. Newt Scamander. So if you don't do anything, he just says the name. I said no. I guess it's pulling it up anyway. <laughs> I thought I said no. Okay, I did. It just has to load that. All right. Hogwarts Sexy 2 doesn't have collectible beans. You'll riot. Okay. All right, so he was running. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've gotten turned around. There was a there was a path that we didn't go down. Oh, I don't want to go this way. No, I wasn't ready for this yet. Oh, maybe this was the path that we didn't take. What? Who is that mysterious person? Nintendo. 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 Why is it not when I charge it? Oh, come on, Harry. Okay, wait. What? I'm locked on. Why are you not hitting it? There we go. Like, <laughs> this one is so different. It doesn't follow the story of the movie at all. And it's a lot of original stuff, but I don't know. I, I kind of like it. It's, it's definitely unexpected. It's catching me off guard. I want to know who this is. A cloaked figure. Maybe it's Quirrell. Oh, come on, please. I don't want to do this again. What? Harry, my man, you've got to work on your aim. Sheesh.
Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, put you back up there. Back where you belong. More beans, okay. Yeah, Fred and George also didn't say how many beans we needed. Okay, fire seed plant. All right. So that's going to take us to where we need to go for Hagrid. Oh, we can't get back into the forest. No. I didn't save at that one either. Game Boy Color games are the most book accurate. Really? I've never played any of the handhelds, but I've heard good things about the Game Boy Color one in particular. Oh, here we go. Another save spot. All right, 27%. Yes, let's overwrite. Oh, yes, full health, please. It's got to be a Wigan weld, huh? Yeah, there we go. I don't think they should have lava this close to Hogwarts, but... <laughs> yeah, I knew they were more like RPG focused. That's cool that they made did their own thing. Because obviously you wouldn't want it to be a game like this, especially back then. You couldn't do it on the handhelds. The more third-person action. I was like, I bet this is going to make us float, isn't it? Okay, so... Let's see what we've got over here. Okay, wait a second. I'm not looking at chat. Don't tell me. I'm going to figure this one out. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but okay. Oh, goodness. Calm down. Do I go in there now? Oh, wait. Maybe I need to... Do I need to lure you over here? Wait, now what? Oh, now it goes higher because he's... That's genius. Something about old games. I'm just like, I never expect that level of detail for it. That was cool. <gasps> Anonymous Chinchilla. Welcome in. Yeah, so we're currently trying to help Hagrid. PS1 Hagrid, that is. He needs some fire seeds. We're just wandering through the forest here. Trying to locate them. Appreciate you stopping by, though. Appreciate all you guys here. Anybody hanging out? Hope you're enjoying the stream. Make sure to hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. That way more people will find it. By the way, if you guys are watching this in the uh, replay squad, anybody watching this later on, comment below with a book emoji. Comment with a book emoji, because this is taking me back, man, to the first time I ever read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and experiencing this story for the first time. So post that book emoji down there, and shout out to the Replay Squad. Thank you guys for supporting and watching on the replay. Oh, goodness. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. Hop on there. I totally did not even think that was going to work, by the way. It, it shocked me when it did. Come over here, dude. I guess I gotta get closer. There you go, follow me. Wait. You didn't do it this time. Oh, now he had to, he had to get big enough. He had to get big enough. Maybe he's got to eat this one now. There you go. 
All right, now, 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 now. Oh yeah, you're you're big enough now. That is actually so clever, man. I love it. Okay, can we? Can this one get us any closer to something? Oh man, what's up there? I want to see what's over here. Ooh, okay, hold on. So there definitely should be a way for us to get over there. It's lore accurate because Hagrid, <laughs> Hagrid can't use a wand. Amazing game. This is the only one you never finished? Wow. I hope, I, I feel like I'll finish this one. I'm enjoying this one so far. Dude, this is, this is so much better than the Deathly Hallows part one and two. My goodness. All right, so how could we get that one? That's going to unlock the door, and I bet he goes in automatically. Yeah, I know there's another one, but, like, where would we where would we plug this one up, I guess? Yo, Cloud Roth, welcome in. Oh, back here. We've got to lure him all the way back here. No way. Cloud Roth, how's your day going so far, dude? Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, wait. He needs to eat, too. Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over there. Chow down. I don't even think these guys can hurt you. Can they? Let's see. Oh, they can't. They just follow you around. Come on, buddy. This way. And then just... There you go. Just hang out there for a bit. Thank you, sir. No! Right there. What? Dude. Oh, for that one, he has to be small. That's crazy. So there are different... That's super interesting. Two beans. Was it worth it? Oh wait, we had to do this. To do this as well. Oh, and that's what pops the lock off. So we did have to do that anyway. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, he's too big. I didn't realize that. Uh, I didn't realize that he could get too big, but apparently he can. All right, let's do another save before we try to cross the lava. The lava-infested waters surrounding Hogwarts, if you guys didn't know about this. In the Forbidden Forest area. Not bad for PS1 graphics, man. Not bad at all. Bouncing and squeaking noises are in your stuck in your head. <laughs> What was it he teaches us? Incendio, I think, right? Or no, we learned that from uh, Sprout. Okay, let's save. He's got us on this just dangerous, dangerous journey. Nothing like Dumbledore's journey for us, though, am I right? Oh no, that one doesn't last long. Lots of platforming in this game. out of the lava oh man I can't believe it wasn't instant death I was expecting instant death in the lava yes Harry okay I did not see that thank you yes we need the potion Noah, what's up? One of your favorite PS1 games? I never played the PS1 version, but I'm I'm enjoying it quite a bit so far. 
Oh no. Oh, we messed that up. Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, not this again. There's a weird input delay, guys. I promise, I'm not making it up. Oh, great. How many, how many do we have to get? Four or five? Okay, five. One, nope. One, two, three. This one's faster! Oh, this is so ridiculous. Incendio. Okay, focus up, focus up, focus up. Oh. All right, this is it. This is it. This is it. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> I promise it's so much harder than it looks. Incendio! Oh my god. The thing that messes me up is that it resets. Like when you miss one. All right, we're going to take our time this time. We're going to we're just going to like space it out. Instead of trying to hit it. Wait. Wait, so if I skip one, you can't wait. You have to hit it in succession. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, I thought I was just gonna take a breath and wait between each one, but no. Incendio! Oh, I thought it was gonna be triangle next. Get me out of there. Incendio! No! You guys think I'm making this up? Linus, Linus vouched for me earlier. There's some sort of input delay with the emulation. We're playing this on the PS3. PS3, PS3 Slim, PS1 game. There's an input delay, chat. I can already see you guys out there now questioning my gaming abilities. I won't have it, okay? I won't have it. There is a bizarre input delay and it's throwing everything off because it's not when you see it appear. You have to tap it a little bit before. Incendio. And this one's moving faster. Let's go, man. Professional gamer right here. Give me a platinum trophy for it. Give me a platinum trophy. You've retrieved the fire seeds. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Fire seeds in hand. Hagrid, man, you have no idea what it took to get here. But we got it. <sighs> Little did I know. I didn't think the triangle was the end. The triangle was the last one we had to get, man. First try, exactly, Alicia. You guys just tuning in? That was the first time I ever tried that. And I nailed it. In input delay and all. Whoa, Harry, you jumped too far, my man. 
you jump too far and you're running on lava. Watch us get there and Haggard's like, oh, sorry, I need one more fire seed. Nah, so far this game hasn't pulled any like cheap tactics. I'll say that. It's been uh, like from a gameplay design perspective, it's been very solid. Very, very solid. All right, so now we're back out here. We just gotta go back to Hagrid's, right? So we just need to retrace our steps through here. You're still hanging out right there, okay. Humble brag. Yeah, first try. First try, Khaleesi. That's That was it. That was the first try right there. Should have got my son. Yeah, my son. My wife's at work. My son could have came in here. Might have got it first try. <laughs> okay, wait. Not this way. This way. We got to be on the lookout for those secret walls, too. Wait, where am I? Whoa! Okay, secret wall. Wait, didn't... I think Linus said there was another secret wall in this area. Oh, when you pass the gargoyle. Isn't that right here? Or is it the next the next area? Probably the next area. Yeah, okay, this is gargoyle coming up. We gotta get those wizard cards, man. Gotta get those wizard cards. Running on lava worse than hot, worse than running on hot coals. Probably so. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so too. Oh yeah, it was through here. Another loading screen. Thankfully, the loading hasn't been too bad. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on PS3. Maybe it goes a little bit faster. And again, it might just be like a true. It might just be a true emulation. Oh, there it is. What do we got? Yes, chocolate frog. Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, I know this guy. I recognize even the blurry PS1 face. I want to hear Hengist who Hengist of Woodcroft. Yes. Hengist of Woodcroft. Let's take a look. They wanted us to jump in that lava. You think so? Hengist oh, of Woodcroft. Medieval. Dates unknown. Driven away from his home by muggle persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland. This is where he well, found the Hogsmeade, village of Hogsmeade. Right. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home. Previous card. I want to hear the last one. It was Newt. Newt Scamander, 1897 to present. Celebrated author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then I'm pretty sure we already heard this one. Yeah. Derwent Shimpling. Derwent Shimpling. Mini Beef, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Which Harry Potter do you prefer? Games, books, or movies? Oh, wait, wait. Between the three? Like, if I could only pick one? Easy. Easy. Gotta be the books, man. Gotta be the books. For me. Facebook is back up. Oh, man. People freaking out, huh? I quit using Facebook a few years ago, actually. Anybody else? How many of you... How many in here uh, still on Facebook? Like, I'm still, I guess I'm technically on there, but I I haven't checked it in. I think it's been about a year, actually, since I've checked it. It's just the one I just did not care for, man. Twitter or X, if we're going to really start calling it that. That is my, uh, just because, like, I'm a, I'm a news guy, man. Like, I love staying on track of the latest and that's always the first place it breaks is on Twitter. 
Oh, another one right here, dude. I see what you mean. Let's go. Yeah, that's partially the reason I kept it, Alicia. My my previous job, I had to have it for work. No, wait. This is just the same spot. But didn't Linus say that we had two secrets? Oh, wait. Where does this loop back to? Oh, they just go back around. So there's a there's a bean that I'm missing. Where's the bean I'm missing? Family that you don't see very often. Yeah. My mom is still on there a lot. And I think my wife's on there occasionally, but she's she's mainly an Instagram person. Stay on there to communicate with family and friends. Yeah. Oh, did I get it? Nice. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go back to our boy. Back to our boy, PS1 Hagrid. Facebook for work and to keep in touch. Oh, is Facebook's required for a quest? I mean, I knew it was obviously meta, but... Well done, Harry. You found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Dude, this Hagrid might have a deeper voice than Robbie Coltrane. Like, I can do a pretty good well, Robbie Coltrane home, as Hagrid. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Listen to this one. I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds so to give it that deep. last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Norbert. Or Norberta, right? As they learn later on. Up you come, my beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry. You're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch <laughs> Through the Ages. Appreciate it, Hagrid. Thank you for giving me this book. Hmm. We'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks like again. Like honey on a corn cob. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase, Dan, but I like it. I like that phrase. Oh, you need just to like to link it to the quest. I see. Yeah, I knew Meta was a uh, Facebook. All right, hold on. Linus is saying that I missed a uh, a monster. Oh yeah, that monster that they were running running away from, all panicked. I guess that was Neville earlier. Okay, wait, hold up. No, 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 not the entrance hall. Not the entrance hall. Let's go back to Hagrid's hut. Okay, it was this way. There's a, we'll save over there, too. And then he came running from this direction. This is where he came running from. Wait, right? Isn't this the direction? This just takes me right back here. To the gargoyle gate. We already did that one. Wait, so where where was the monster? Hey, Baggy Boo, welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Where is that monster? I don't think it's through here. Good old Norberta. Yeah, this just takes me back to the fire seat area, right? Yeah, I don't want to go back there. Oh, you don't remember where it is? Yeah, I don't know where that guy, where he was talking about. Because we already went through there. Yeah, definitely not there, right? And then that's just the place where we already went there. 
Oh, yeah. You don't think it's through there, do you? Hey, Noah, with another super chat. Appreciate it, Noah. Waiting for your reply on IG. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's you. Okay. I was thrown off slightly because the names were different. Yes, I will I will check my response later today. Thank you, dude. I thought it was you, but I wasn't 100% sure. When you said you uh you became a member. But then I noticed that the name didn't match up. All right, I don't want to go back in there. That's the fire seat area. Yeah, I think we just need to uh I think we just need to go back up to the school. Maybe we have enough beans now to learn the password. But thank you for the super chat too, Noah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. In fact, I'm not sure why it didn't uh did it pop up on screen? I don't remember seeing it pop up on screen. Why did it not pop up? Either way, Noah, I do see it. I do see it in the chat. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I've gotten all turned around. I keep going the wrong way. Oh, you think the monster's in the dungeon where Snape said? What? I want to get back to Fred and George as well. Where were they at? Puff skeins. Fred. They were right here, weren't they? Let's see. Let's go back through here. Oh, there it is. It was just way late. I don't know why it was so late. There we go. Just took it a minute to pop pop in there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drink this potion. No, with another super chat. Uh, it's me, Sparkling Journey is your brain. Ah, okay, now it makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Well, thank you for the uh, additional super chat, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support, it means a lot. The gargoyle was the monster Neville was running from. Ah, oh, Robert. Thank you, Robert. That explains it. Found those blue every flavor beans yet? Yeah, we've got some. Found those blue every what? flavor beans yet? How many do you need? We've got 35 beans. Oh, no way. They need all of them. You want all of the beans? No way. The gargoyle. Okay, that's right. Yeah, we did fight the gargoyle. Well, Kent, how do we get in here? My kitten is still down there. Can you hear her? We need to help this poor Ravenclaw. Okay, so what would be a way we would need to get on another level? Like, maybe that is the dungeons. Maybe we have to go through the dungeons to get that. class is locked so I guess you can go to the Quidditch training just about any time all right let's save the game again 31 percent all right we've made a pretty good dent in things I, I would assume that's for 100 percent completion and not just for beating the game what mission is this so we just finished the mission for our boy PS1 Hagrid. We got the fire seeds. We've learned Incendio. We've done charms with Sprout. We've done Herbology. Or charms with Sprout. Charms with Flitwick. Herbology with Sprout. And now we helped Hagrid hatch Norberta there. Okay, wait. Snape needed something before we could even do the dungeon one. Oh, yeah, Mew Store. Uh, for sure. This is a lot better than Deadly Hallows Part 2. This is a lot better. I think, anyway. Hey, Peter, welcome in. 
I know that old school loading and it's possible I don't know if the if the PS3 improves loading or not but I'm playing a PS1 game on the PS3 there's a chance that the PS3 actually improves the loading the dungeons are closed until the sloth brain is returned okay so he's still not letting us do anything until the sloth brain is returned the music is missing it Muse store it pops up occasionally it it does have the music every now and then. I don't know what like triggers it. I guess it's just certain scenes and then like once it it doesn't loop it. Once it plays it one time, then it's like it moves on. Well, I didn't really want you to do that, Harry, but okay. We haven't even been in the Great Hall yet. Let's go. Check out the Great Hall here. And I'm not even sure what we're supposed to be doing next, actually. Let's grab some beans while we're here. I can't believe we have to get all the... I'm assuming we have to get all the beans before... Of that category. So for like this one, we need 50. Alright, can I read what's on the table here? Nope. Nope. Can we play some wizard's chess? Nope. All right. Let's see, is there anything we can do with this? Anything with the counters? Nope. Loop in. You mean loop in? Oh. I don't know where to go next, guys. I don't know where to go. All right, let's try to go back. Okay, we can't go to the dungeons. Let's just try to go back to our common room. In Gryffindor Tower. You'll get to play chess. I like the tease, Linus. Probably in the, I'm gonna guess at the end with the task, or not the task, but you guys know what I mean. The final battle with, uh, before you stop Quirrell from taking the stone. All right, let's go in here. Caput Draconis. There really wasn't a lot to do in the common room. It's 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 much smaller. They did have that little bulletin board though, right? You remember where we're supposed to go from here, Linus? If I would pay more attention. Oh man. Sorry you guys, yawning again. I didn't get good sleep again. Our oldest has been sick unfortunately. It's been one thing after another this year with uh, For sale, sickness. For sale, issues one to six of the adventures of Martin Miggs, the Mad Muggle. Three sickles each. What? I love how it's like the kids are like selling things on the notice board. That's too funny. All right, so we're at 34% now. All right, I think I see Fred and George in here. Hello, Harry. Still haven't managed to collect the yellow earwax every flavor beans. Give us the beans, and we'll tell you the password to the portrait so of the old So they Baron. really want all of the beans. George and I have left something behind the portrait that you might find very handy. Dude, Mini Beef, he's got some hops in this game. <laughs> More so than the other games. He can jump like crazy in this one. And pretty high, too. You'll see him. He can jump up and grab bookshelves. Even as a small 11-year-old kid. All right. Well. Wait. Put the, put the candle on the table outside the common room. Back to Hagrid. We just talked to Hagrid. The candle? I never even realized that it was... Wingardium Leviosa! I never realized that it was locking onto it like that. Whoa, what is happening? Wait, are we, am I supposed to do it again? Or was Wingardium it just... Leviosa. Was it just to get points?
Wait, that's it, right? Did I do it? <laughs> Did I do it right? Did I just need to talk to Hagrid one more time or something? Did I completely mess it up? <laughs> hey, sounds good, Damia. No worries. Coffee number two. I'm on. Let's see. I drink all, almost all my water, and soda number one is just about gone. All right, back to Hagrid. Okay. Oh, wait, Ron was out here? Oh, talk to Ron, not Hagrid. Okay, I just, you were just, you were just getting me headed in the right direction, Linus. I appreciate that. And you knew you needed to tell me Hagrid first. Hey, Becky, uh, be careful. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, Hagrid's hut. Dude, Ron, where are you, man? Oh, is he over here? Oh, wait, this wasn't open before, was it? This wasn't open before. Yes, see? New bean. There he is. There's Ron. Follow me, Harry. You'll never guess what I found. You'll never guess what I found. Well, before I follow you, let me grab a couple beans, Ron. Sounds like Cornish pixies. You'll never guess what I found. This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch. But first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes, though. But only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Uh-oh, Neville. What's wrong, dude? Malfoy stole my remember all. Okay, so they do tie it in. He ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. They do tie it Please in a little help bit. Me. Come on. I'll show you where he went. I don't know how the remember all is going to help you find Trevor Neville, but <laughs> it's kind of like the remember all. They don't really seem all that useful to me, to be honest, but. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Oh, here we go. watch out for my bludgers. Square to bash. We probably have to get close enough though, right? Alright, we, we hit him, but he also hit us. Nice. Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. I was trying to remember the movie line. Because in, in this, he said, how about he'll leave it in a tree. In the movie, he says, how about on the roof? I can't remember what the line is in the book. It might be in a tree in the book. Have it your way, then. <laughs> Right? Okay, we're actually getting below half health. Man, it's honestly pretty crazy to me that they have all these scenes in the PS1 game. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. Yeah. Again. Again. Come on, Harry. 
Nice. One, maybe two more. You damaged my broomstick, Potter! Let's go. Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Let's go. All right, now McGonagall's gonna walk out. <laughs> See if you can go back before the Quidditch match. Oh, were there two more walls I missed? <laughs> Man, I am not paying attention at all to the walls. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. I'll be able to find my toad. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. That's not how they work, Neville. That's not how the remember remember Mr. Work. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy <laughs> headmistress of Hogwarts Just and head of Gryffindor McGonagall? House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. <laughs> Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first what? match against Hufflepuff what? is about to start. You're on the team, Potter. Match in five minutes. Go. That is too funny. Oh, man. We couldn't go back and get the walls. Linus. Wow. You're going to play Quidditch? Maybe after the match it will let us. I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. Me as soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hat to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first. I just know it. <laughs> this one, Hagrid, man, is... I see why he's just like an internet icon now. I see. I get it. I fully get it now. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan. Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new got team it, got it. is Harry Potter. It's How did they <laughs> Snitch. Remember when the snitch appears, it releases feed rings. That so much happened, Alicia, faster. within like a 10 second time span. Potter. We met we met Professor McGonagall for the first time. She put us on the Quidditch team, set our matches in now. A glint of gold. And Hagrid, Ron, and Is Hermione know. Potter's seen the snitch. Also, Hermione has red hair for some reason. I, I was trying to comment yeah! on that. Potter's moving in for the kill. A near miss for Potter. This is amazing. Look at Potter go. Look at Potter go. Potter's gaining. Uh-oh, what just happened? Okay, so Oh, now they're red. All right. They're getting a little bit harder. No. <laughs> Dodge is a speeding bludger. I'm dodging a lot right now, Lee Jordan. Oh, no. 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 Wonderful. No. Excellent. Wait, did that actually work? That worked. Potter's going for it. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Gamer dude, welcome. Hope you're having a good day so far. Appreciate you stopping by to check out the stream. Mm. 
Nicely done, Harry. Nicely done. Now just hope we can make it in those secret walls that we missed. Because there are probably more wizard cards. Well now, if it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name. It's Professor Snape. <laughs> and I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think that's how it works, Snape. As soon as my missing what? sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. I gotta repeat what he said. I'm trying to hold that line in my head. Library books hey, by definition. It's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. Ooh. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. <laughs> wow, look. I've opened that rusty door. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Let's see Christian where it leads. Gamer. Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. Wait, what? Now, if he said the restricted section, okay. Can we go back this way, Ron? Oh, we can. All right, hold on, though. I feel like I should do what he's laid out for us first, shouldn't I? I don't want to mess anything up. Okay. Because Linus said that I missed two... Two hidden areas. Maybe they're right here. Oh, no, wait. Hagrid's hut? Wait, we did, we did this one. I'm almost positive we did this one. Oh, great. Loading, loading. Hello, Harry. Try to oh. grab all the Bertie Wait. Boss beans. But I thought we did this one. Bulbs, if they what? I really thought we did this one. Maybe we have and it just lets you repeat it? Ah. No. Ah. No! No, stop it. Well done, Harry. You collected all the Bertie Box beans. Okay, let's you see if it gives us a new one. Witches and wizards can't be all troubles. Yo, Gamer Dude's birthday? I missed that one. Happy birthday, Gamer Dude. Hope you're having a good day. Let's see who this one Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay. Yes, I want to see... If they, uh, they've used the same art for all of them, it seems like, so far. Yeah, that's Morgan Le Fay. Medieval. Dates unknown. King Arthur's half-sister. Dark Sorceress. Enemy of Merlin. Dark Sorceress and enemy of Merlin. Snape, I think you got it wrong, right? What? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken out of the library. Like, wait, what dictionary are you reading, Snape? How did I miss these? Isn't this the same area that I already... Okay, Linus. So it's the same... It's the same door that we went through before. Just because the game has progressed, it unlocks something different. Is that how it works? Alright, now we're ready to finally go back to Ron in here. It was a blue bean... Oh, so I hadn't been in that one. Oh, interesting. Well, gamer dude, I'm glad you stopped by, man. 
Wow, I bet this is where my brothers have hidden the sloth brain that Snape's after. Let's split up oh, and have so a look about. Oh, so they hid it. It was Fred and George, huh? Alright, let's save the game. Go find the sloth brain. Always remember, kids, when you're playing on your PlayStation 1, you need a memory card with at least however many blocks free. Uh, drink potion. I'm going to save it. See if we need it more after this. Okay, that's Ron over there. So what if I go this way first? Venomous Tentacular. Beware. Hagrid. Hey, Karthik. Welcome in. Appreciate you stopping by. All right. I don't think we're supposed to go that way yet. So let's just listen to Ron for now. Hey, here's some puffer pods. They're great fun to throw about. I hear they make trolls sneeze too. They make trolls Puffer pod sneeze. Badge. Good fun to throw around. Hagrid. Ooh, okay, what do you want me to throw them at? He said they make they make people sneeze. Wait, Ron. Come here, Ron. Ron! I need to <laughs> Ron! I need to ask you a question, sir. What where am I supposed to take this puff of pod? I wasn't listening to you. I'm sorry. He's just not gonna tell me now. We gotta figure it out ourselves. Maybe it maybe it's supposed to go back here. Nope. We're about to use up all the puffle pods. Get him, Harry. Oh, not this again. Here we go, man. Did we get it? Name a necklace after Morgan Le Fay? That would be a good one, Noah. Noah again with a super chat, man. Appreciate it, dude. You guys have been showing crazy love today with the super chats, with the donations, with the new members. Right. Incendio! Alright, 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 alright. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. That one only took us two tries. Big, big improvement over where we were before. Okay, so hold on. Where does this way lead us? Use lever. What those puffle pods are for? It said makes makes people sneeze or something. Who am I supposed to make sneeze? Ron. Ron takes off running. <laughs> Silver Legion. Uh, what's up? House points. What's that? If I throw it at the right thing. All right. Let's go ahead and just drink this, just to make sure we're at full health. Yo, expecto go. I missed you, dude. I missed you. I didn't see you pop in there. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Oh, man. Expecto go. I don't know if you saw. I'm sure you saw. I retweeted it. You probably had already seen it, too. We had to take a moment in the stream to talk about it, man. What do you, what do you think, man? What are your thoughts? For me, it just, it confirms what, y your fears, man. It confirms your fears. Oh, well, I shouldn't say confirms. But it, it seems like it could definitely be going in the direction that, that you fear. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, you can check my Twitter or X. I retweeted it. Puff upon patch. Good fun to throw around. Good fun to throw in a catch. A hork lump patch used door. Basically, just more stuff about Hogwarts Legacy possibly going live service. <laughs> Noah with another super chat. Noah, my man. Dude, 
appreciate all the support, man. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Just to say, hey, James, in the chat. Man, Noah, appreciate it, dude. And also, Justin and Heather just subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. Welcome in. Welcome in. Trolls will sneeze. Okay, well, where's where's the troll, man? Maybe I need to open this door. Oh, and then I bet is a troll gonna come out now? No. Or maybe, maybe we need it later. Only approach I don't know. Guardian Leviosa spell. There will be. There will Hagrid. be. Okay, okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, give me that. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, he's chasing me. Wingardium Leviosa. He's chasing me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know, dude. I was I was telling chat earlier, like I'm fine with them doing a live service game. I, in fact, I'd want to. I'd be curious to see Leviosa. a Harry Potter live service game, an MMO. I'm there for it. But if they're like legitimately abandoning AAA gaming and like they're not gonna do a, a true Hogwarts Legacy two, like we were hoping, that's just so sad. So sad if that's how it all shakes out, which. I mean, I need, I only read like the one quote, so I haven't read all the stuff yet, but from the headlines I was seeing, it it definitely didn't sound good for those of you who want for those of you who want a Hogwarts Legacy 2 that was basically in the same vein as the first game but with a lot of improvements, single player focused action RPG. I don't know, man. I don't know. It may be more in doubt than it's ever been, to be honest. Trying not to sound like too uh, alarmist, but <laughs> oh, there, there it is. That's what we were looking for. Do it until you get all the beans. Okay, so wait, we got it right. Resurrect Dumbledore's <laughs> army. Show WB we want to direct Hogwarts Legacy sequel. It's just, it's just so baffling to me. It's so baffling. But again, but again, but again, nothing, nothing confirmed. As far as Avalanche's side of things, like we don't, we don't know. Did I not do all of them, Linus? I thought I did. I thought I grabbed all of them. Wingardium Leviosa. I'll double check. Oh wait, does it just, either I missed that one or they give me more beans. Hey, stop following me. Wingardium Leviosa. Maybe they give you more beans? Okay, I definitely did that one. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh yeah, now we just need the one. Oh, they're going to pick up the beans. That's what they're trying to do. Wingardium Leviosa. All right, I'm gonna put you way over there. Stay back. I, I'm just gonna double check them now. Leviosa. Oh, okay. No, my bean. Did I get it? Did I get it? I don't know if I got that one. Or not. Come on. But yeah, James. I, I told people to go back and watch. Because, I don't know, when was that? A month or two ago? You and I did a conversation about this very, very thing, which I'm sure I'm going to make another video on it, but that one, I thought that was a great discussion where we kind of laid out the, the pros and cons, the positives, the negatives, so that discussion should still be highly, highly relevant for any of you who missed that. And if you're here and you haven't checked out Expecto Go's channel... Check out Expecto Go. Lots of Wingardium Wizarding World news, Leviosa. but also playing a lot of other games. I know he's been hyped for the new Final Fantasy release. He's been having a lot of fun live streaming that. So go ahead and show some support on his live streams. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Or clumps. 
only approach. But yeah, we had a really good conversation, I thought. And even on, on Expecto Go's last, um, on your last live stream, over on James's channel, guys, Expecto Go's channel, we did a, it's not in his videos, if you look in his recent live streams, I joined Andy Reloads, James, Expecto Go, Miranda Lorian, Wizard PhD, and uh, Benjamin Snow, and the live service conversation was probably the one that we had the most conversation about, honestly. Talking about the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, like what our worst case scenarios would be. So both of those videos would be really good ones to check out. Because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more discussion on all this, especially in light of uh, that quote that has dropped Harry. today. Meet me in the dungeons, your friend, Hermione. Popelish, welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, shoot, you guys. I was talking to chat. Where did Hermione say to meet her? She said, meet me in the something, and I missed it. Great. You found the sloth brain. Let's go back to Hogwarts. I missed it. Noah with another super chat. My goodness, Noah. The race Man. The Mouse Cup continues. James is killing Basilisk in Final Fantasy over on Expecto Go. He is indeed. Fighting those snakes. Hufflepuff. Oh, I just need one more bean. Let's go. Slytherin. And Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Oh, it's... It's Gryffindor close, but I think we got him. On house points. Despite Sprout the taking those five points from me. Up. Man, I was late to Herbology, you guys. Didn't even know I was on a timer to get to Herbology. I thought it was something else. And then Sprout just like straight up took five points. And she's like, do you want to try again? I did. And she didn't give me the points back. How are you going to do that, Sprout? How are you going to do that? Oh, that's that's good to hear, Popelish. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It is a fun game, that's for sure. Plenty of videos here on the channel. If you need any tips or tricks, we got you covered. The blue bean, and that's only outside. All oh, the blue beans are only outside. Hermione in the dungeons. Okay, good, good, good. Perfect. Let's go and give Snape his missing potion ingredient. We'll be in big trouble if he catches us here. He'll think we're the ones who stole it. Yeah, he's probably going to think we're the ones who stole it anyway, Ron. He's probably going to think that anyway. Because that's um, Snape. That's how he again, does. Maybe I'll just wait here. Snape gives me the willies. <laughs> and expect to go dropping in there with the 18-month membership. Let's go, man. Appreciate it, dude. Smash the thumbs up if we get 100. He talks like all of it <laughs> for the rest of the stream. I never agreed to that. Come on. Ah, Potter has found the sloth brain. Was it clever hunting or a thief's guilty conscience? So where was it, Potter? Within your own head? Bring it to class. I told you, man. We already knew what Snape was going to think. Every one of us already knew. I still can't believe this man tried to tell us. You guys, earlier, Snape told us by their very definition that library books are not to be taken out of the library. Like, excuse me, what? By their very definition? Like, what definition is that, man? And now he just, he just locks us in the dungeon! Redhead, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. I sat and had a Fantastic Beasts Harry Potter movie marathon last week in preparation for the Making of Harry Potter Studio Tour in London. You went on Friday. It was incredible. Yo, that's an awesome story. Let's go. I love it. I saw that they, um, they're they adding a Prisoner of Azkaban thing pretty soon. That's going to run through, I think it's like through the summer. I, I talked about it in our last video. If you guys didn't catch that, it sounds pretty, uh, sounds pretty great. If I ever travel overseas to the UK, I'm gonna have to check it out. I've heard really good things. 
And Noah with another another super chat. Smash the thumbs up. If we get 100, he talks like Ollivander for the rest of the stream. <laughs> totally in with James. What? Look at the chat, man. I'm trying to take over. I'm trying to take over. Little do they know we were about to end the stream anyway. <laughs> Little did they know. Nah, this is usually always around the time we end. Yeah, I gotta grab some lunch and then it's gonna be about time to go pick up my youngest. But whether or not we hit 100 likes, man, I'm always down board to give you guys a little Ollivander, okay? I need to, I need to develop more lines, though. I do need to get more lines. So it's like... <clears throat> hold on, we gotta... We gotta you gotta take your voice down. First, we gotta drop it a little bit, and then you gotta kind of add. Okay, you got a little bit like this, all right? And then, and then you've gotta add the British accent, the I, I, I. Okay, there, you, you feel it coming, chat? You feel it? Hold on, hold on. This, this, this is the full screen. This is the full screen. I. You can hear it coming, right? Like you hear the hint of it in there. I wondered. Hold on, hold on. We don't want any game audio right now. Actually, did did I save this? Let me make sure I save this. Okay, completely saved. 40%. Save game. And then I'm just going to turn the PS3 off. Alright, so we're saved. We're good. It's been so long since I played a game where you have to save to a memory card. It's like, wh what's happening here? Is it actually saved? Alright, so we got we got total silence here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Are you here with me, chat? Are you here with me? Are you here with me? All right, you're here. We got the we got the I I I I. You got to picture Ollivander's face, man. I wondered. Then you got to get kind of that old, a little bit of the elderly tone, like it's it's an aged voice. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mister Potter. It seems only yesterday that your mother and father were in here buying their first bonds. And he's like, well, give it a wave. Oh, I don't have my wand in here. We'll use a pin. No, definitely not. And then they have the whole little, you know, everything's moving. When I, when I first watched the Potter movies, I always thought he said yikes. When he says curious, because he, he says it, he's like, Curious. I was like, yikes. <laughs> yikes? Is that what he's saying? No. Curious. Very curious. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter, and it just so happens. The phoenix, whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is curious that you should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. I'm having a deja vu. I've done this exact thing on stream before. <laughs> deja vu, man. Oh, dude. And then what's the next part? Uh, I think we, we could expect great things from you. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible. Yes but great. If you were around back in the old days, man, back when we had the books and not the movies, there was a lot of theories about Ollivander that he was going to actually turn out to be evil. Because if you remember from reading the first book, there's a line where Harry's like, it says Harry wasn't sure if he liked Mr. Ollivander very much. So his immediate impression of Ollivander was like a skeptical one. Super interesting, man. If you want to hear a voice like that that's probably much better than my impression of Ollivander, then you can check out our affiliate partner. Yo! Was that a, was that a good setup or what, man? Was that a good setup? AudibleTrial.com slash retro, guys. It's not like an official sponsor or anything, but we are an affiliate partner with them. And if you go to AudibleTrial.com slash retro, if your name is on Prime Member, you get two free audiobooks. And yes, the Harry Potter books are on there. Yes, you can hear voice acting probably much better than me. Let's face it, Jim Dale's a legend, man. But um, if you're not an Amazon Prime member, you still get one free book. 
I mean, seriously, you might as well just go. Uh, who, who was it in here earlier? I think it was Lore, Lore D was talking about how. And you can get these frequently. Like, if you listen to a lot of audiobooks, it's definitely worth it. But even if you don't, man, you can just keep redeeming these free trials. And you keep the books. You keep the books. It's crazy. So I've gotten the first, I think I'm up to the first five Harry Potter books now that I've gotten from using free trials. They probably don't actually want people saying don't don't bother with the full subscription. <laughs> they probably, no, but, but for real, like if you do listen to a lot of them, it is worth it. But if you're like, man, I just, I would like to have all the Harry Potter books on audio. There you go. Just redeem a couple free trials and you'll have it, man. But guys, this has been a blast, man. I appreciate you all hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, we had another super chat, Retro Vander, from Noah. Noah, man, appreciate all the love today, dude. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. Another super chat that popped in there. I don't know, maybe it popped up on screen while I was doing my Ollivander. You own all of them, gamer dude? Nice. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. I guess, I wonder if, we, in the U.S., do you guys know... Because the versions that I have, it just like defaults to the Jim Dale version. I wonder if I have access to both versions. Amazon, if you're not on that, that would be a pretty cool feature. Or does it just set it by territory? I bet it does it by territory. So I bet it's based on where you bought them. So like since I bought mine in the U.S., it probably gives me the U.S. versions, Jim Dale. But yeah, I've, I've never listened to the Stephen Fry versions. That might be fun to do sometime. That might be fun to do. But guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Tuesday morning slash afternoon hanging out with us here for the stream. I had a blast. These are always great. Um, we we will hopefully finish this one next week. We'll be picking back up where we left off. I will, I will not play any off stream. We'll wait till we're back here. Then after that, the following week, we'll start Chamber of Secrets on the PS1. And then after that, I think I might put like put up like a members only poll or something for you guys a members only poll to figure out where we want to go uh from that point because we played a lot of them but we still haven't played all of them we still got the handheld games we still got things like wonder book book of spells book of potions which i have no idea how that will translate to a live stream i'll need to get a playstation move controller which i don't have and i think you have to have like the eye toy thing for that too so might be a very bizarre setup here, but I think I could make it work. And then we, <laughs> then I have the, I have the Harry Potter Connect game. I don't even know if I have enough space for that one. Like, if I'm standing up, let's see, because I know, aren't you supposed to have like six feet away from the Connect? I don't know if this is six feet. I don't know if this is six feet or not, but you guys already know. If I can make it work, I'll try to make it work. I will try to make it work. Uh, and then what's the other one? There's another big one. The um, Oh, yeah, the remake of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone. That was for like the GameCube, Xbox, PS2, that version of the game. So we sell plenty of the, the games to get through. Plus there's Harry Potter Magic Awaken. I'm going to do some streams with that. And then maybe at some point we will get um, Quidditch Champions. Not to mention Hogwarts Legacy. Might be fun to jump back into that one at some point too. Hopefully with the summer update if we get some uh, significant updates there. But guys, uh, thank you all. Really appreciate everybody hanging out today. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to get some lunch. Then I got to get ready, pick up my youngest from school. My oldest, he's actually here with me. He had to stay home. So I'm going to check on him, see how he's feeling. He was doing a lot better today, but he just he was still running a fever late last night, so they don't want you to send them if they've, you know, had one within 24 hours, which I understand. I understand. All right, guys. Thank you all for everything, man. It's been a pleasure. Remember to keep twiddling those dials. The next password will be Ollivander. Keep each other safe. Keep faith. And good night. I didn't plan on any of the stream that way. It just it just happened. So yeah. <laughs>